<laughs> Lurka, you there? Oh, my problem is fucking mumbling. I kept getting cut out by my own goddamn uh... voice activation. Uh, one? yeah, like the separate one, the one for OBS, even. Oh no. Yeah, I did a bad. I did a bad job. All it's right. alright though. I so let's it. get this shit started. Hey, let's go ahead and oh, that's not the one I want to play. There we go. Oh, different background music. Whoa! Oh. Yay! Some change of scenery. All right. So, uh, after a crazy night, um, everyone has a, had a moment to sleep. It's about one or two o'clock in the afternoon, and uh, the afternoon blankets the quiet little village of Woodlands Row. But it wasn't so quiet last night, despite the autumn scents that wafts through the sound, uh, wafts through the town. Uh, the party wakes up, and well, it's a little bit awkward to say the least. Oh. <laughs> so it's about uh, one or two o'clock in the afternoon. You wake up, and uh, the, the innkeep, uh, Josen, member of the orc, uh, says, "Good morning, y'all. Some of the you guys uh, slept in pretty late today. <clears throat> Shall I get you yeah, anything?" Yeah, we were up a little late last night. That almost made me unplug. I mean, was anyone woken up by the fucking scuffle? There were a few people that were woken up by the scuffle, but the guards had uh, <laughs> eased the town of issues. So I don't know if, like, he knew what happened or not. Uh, not to your knowledge. So, you wake up, you have a meal, uh, a meal or two, and which is kind of paid for by the... By the in itself. And Wesley, he wakes up too and kind of stretches and yawns. Well, he tries to yawn at least. Not a lot of sound comes uh, because, well, he is mute. He kind of finds a nice little corner, orders a drink, and offers the, the party a place to sit. Yeah, I like this guy. He doesn't talk. <laughs> <laughs> I go with him down. Yeah, yeah. Order some tea. Alright, and, uh... Water, please. <laughs> Morgan last night, well, had a little bit too much to drink. You're still feeling it, by <laughs> oh the way. I'm gonna eat the biggest food. Give me the biggest food. All right, you want you want a hearted meal? It's gonna it's gonna take uh, about five coins there if you want a big hearted meal for yourself, Calgrist. Uh, I want a big cheap meal. Give me a big cheap meal. <laughs> cheap gonna, okay. meal. Well, a big cheap meal is about three coin. <laughs> Fine, I'll eat a big cheap meal. You eat a big cheap meal and uh, it just comes like out a, just a bunch of bread and a cheese. A gallon of porridge. <laughs> That's fine. Some bread, some cheese, and a gallon of porridge with um, scraps of meat in it. Wesley just kind of looks at you and just raises an eyebrow. It looks like he wants to write something down, but he doesn't. And he, he beckons uh, Annabelle over, uh, the, if you remember the, the waitress, writes something down, shows it to her, and Brings him, brings him back a nice little platter of meats and cheeses. A little slightly more expensive. And Wesley hands her some, some coin. So, uh, is everyone else just kind of eating like random food? Yeah, it's whatever I'm they have here. Tea. You're sipping tea? Okay, so. Uh, I'll call, I'll just like one coin for the tea and Talison, I guess you'll just have like a hearty meal for one. Sure. Alright, that's three coin. And uh, Morgan. Where? You just have water. Uh, water, and uh, I'm gonna go find some apples. <laughs> Alright, so you can go off into town and you, you find some apples. So everyone, right now, you guys on the map? Can you guys see the map? Yep. Yes. Alright. So Morgan, as you walk out, and by the way, if you take a look into your handouts, and you go to party NPCs, you, you'll notice I've written a little bit more for some of the characters that come from uh, right now. No, cool. did you remember to move that into the player section and not in the GM section? It appears I, I see I can see it. Yeah. I can see uh, Let things. me refresh. Maybe you did that after I opened it. Nope. It says all players. You should have access to it. Hmm. All I see is a picture. For me is uh, I've got the oh. I've got handouts. I've got the hand I got handouts for Yeah, NPCs I mean yes, that's what I'm clicking on here. I'm just gonna open them up again. Hmm? Like, I'm, I'm seeing everything I should, I think. Oh, no, just the Wesley and, and Harry thing are just pictures, I see. 
Yes, those are pictures. The party NPCs are. Okay, yeah, I see, I see, I see. Right. So, uh, Harold also wakes up, <laughs> finds a table close to you guys. Your table's kind of full. And orders some stuff and he hands his own food. And, uh,. He, he mentions that um, it's like, well, when's the next time you're going to pay me? <laughs> kind of like subtly, not so subtly. So, um, because like the six months, you've had a you've had a steady flow of money from the lock and people paying you and all that stuff. But he just kind of mentions that kind of by the end of the session, he's, he's expecting some pay. Yeah, yeah, like, well, I imagine how often do we pay him in like actual game time, like weekly? In or actual game time, it's usually once a session, the end of every oh, okay. session. Or okay. Sometime during the session, he gets paid. Yeah, no problem. Yeah. So it's about 30 to 40 coin, depending on how strenuous. Uh, maybe more, maybe less, depending, right? Right. So for the most part, the travel down here was relatively straightforward, so he didn't ask for much coin. But fighting and dealing with a werewolf is a little bit different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, like... The action is starting here, but don't, don't worry. Yeah. We'll, we'll worry about that at the yeah. end of the session, then. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And, uh, Harold says um, to you guys, well, it looks like my job description is starting to expand. Werewolf hunter now, huh? And he kind of says it a little bit loud. <laughs> A little bit too loud, and there, everyone kind of like shoots him by glance to shut up. I assume. So Morgan, that is there. Morgan, you stand up and you you're about to open the door when a familiar face stops you. I should probably move you all into the in here. Oh go God, like... this guy. Yes, if you remember, it was uh, Thomas Smithson who, who introduced himself as the sergeant of the guard. Uh, opens it up. And then he's, he, he opened up and he's like in a permanent scowl, always really angry. He's about, you know, uh, great at the temples, mid 50s, uh, armor that's not really well kept, but put together piecemeal. He looks at uh, Morgan and looks at the party and says, You're all wanted by the Elder. You mean the Elder would like to speak with us? No, you're all wanted by the Elder. <laughs> he just says bluntly. As and in... why are we wanted? He wishes to speak with you. Oh, sorry, did I scare you? And, like, you see, like, a crink of a smile appear at the corner of his lips, but he retains it. Scowl. Oh, so then you, then I was correct in assuming that he wanted to see us. Let's just go. What, what the hell are you guys talking about? Let's go. And, uh... The, the party stands up and the party moves and shifts over and uh dude i shoulder, I shoulder check him <laughs> he lets out a very um, annoyed grunt as you do that he tries really hard to uh uh tries really hard to like shoulder against your blow why don't you go ahead and roll a strength check for me real quick see you see if you how effective you are at <laughs> <laughs> Very yeah, effective. He, he tries to stay in his ground, but you just kind of like shove him to the side like he's like air. He, he doesn't exist to you. It's uh, starting up the road, night with a 10. Uh, hey, Great. make sure you select your characters. I already did. Uh -huh. I noticed that. Yep. <laughs> so the party heads over, including Wesley, to the elder's house. Why is he so big? Hold on, there you go. It's a very large he's man. He's a very important person. A very, very important person. Right, and also there are two guards. They they, they are very non-hostile, but they just seem to be like you know this is my position today. And uh, you also notice a familiar kid that shot an arrow into Holograst's wrists. <laughs> the baby. The, the baby. Right. He looks like a baby too. A little pinches jeans. All right. So every the the party members sit down in what appears to be a very uh. This home is kind of built in an olden style, but when you get inside, you smell immediately luxuries of things that you hadn't smelt in a while. You, you might you remember certain scents and, and food, this food laid out too, and hors d'oeuvres uh, that you remember from the feast back in uh, Wayward's Rest. And uh, Baldric, you notice along the walls and along the, the around the area are are things from Orncia that you would have noticed in a higher family's home. Uh, they don't look like they belong to him per se, but stuff that he's collected. And it's kind of implied from the seats that you sit on, which are embroidered in velvet, uh, this man used to come from a very rich past. So, all of you sit down, and uh, 
and Sergeant Smithson says and salutes to the Elder and says, Elder Moino, I have brought the adventurers here. And Moino says, eh, yes, 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 you can go now, Smithson. You're so serious at your job. And uh, Smithson, who kind of salutes once again, holding a scowl and shooting another glance at the party and then shooting at even more daggers at Lyle. And Lyle kind of shoots daggers back. There's like a moment of tense silenceness, and you hear a long groan from Moino, and goes, "Ah, oh, just, just leave, Smithson." Um, Smithson, kind of. I just grin as he out. walks out. Mm-hmm. I make sure he sees the grin. All right. I give him a little right. wink when he stares at me. <laughs> wait, 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 wait! You make sure he sees. I'm sorry. Hold on. You make sure he sees the grin, so like you get like up in his face, like you follow him, because maybe no, he just no. Him. Or if I make eye contact with him. All right, so the party sits down, and the gentleman says to the two guards, "All right, you had your show of force. You can leave now." And the two two other guards kind of leave as well. And they wait outside, and one of them says, "We'll be outside, right through the sir." Back wall. <laughs> Not through the back wall. You know what I mean. <laughs> right, so right through it. The whole party and um, conveniently, Harold says. Harold says, oh, this is the boring stuff. I'll leave it to you guys. And he kind of goes off and do his own thing as well. What is with the militia in this town? The militia guards, what are they? Do you say that out loud or do you like- Yeah, like, out loud, out loud. Yes. You're in a location caught between four lands. I do apologize for my subordinates. We try to move away from the common towns because it was dangerous there. Um, we didn't want to stay in Hornsea because it's expensive there. And now we're caught between dwarves and elves. And uh, he kind of like a lingering look washes over Morgan. Let me describe him real quick. He seems to be a man dressed of simple robes. Um, despite all the riches and the artifacts around him that seem to represent old, um, old and Ornsean architecture, um, he. He's, he dresses very frugally, very simply. You notice that when he offers you the hors d'oeuvres and the food, he, uh, he sticks to simple green tea. Um, most of what he offers seems to be sort of like a, something that he's learned before rather than something he enjoys. Uh, the man, um, balding obviously, and has a long white beard, he kind of strokes it gently, and uh, again, continues. Many of the families here have lost people. Smithson the most of all. He lost both his daughters and his wife in the first couple years living here. He's a very jaded man. I hope you can understand. So did everyone in this town recently move here? Uh, he says, um, he says, we've been here for about almost a decade now. We've done good for ourselves. It's thanks to, to Lyle over here, this young chap. He does a lot of the ranging and, and helps bring economy to this town. Wait, how old does he look again? Yeah, no, Lyle, Lyle is actually, um, Lyle, he, he's 21, he's really young, uh, but he's, he's been a ranger for five years. Okay. And, and Lyle says, um, yes, my mentor before, uh, he's no longer with us. He taught me all I knew. And of course, um, one second, let me double check your name. Lady Othena, she is a godsend, uh, the apothecary. I, I'm sure you saw her garden when you came in says Lyle. That if you remember in the last session, you kind of, mm -hmm. you, you, yeah. you briefly rock packs, but like there's a whole bunch of different things going on there. Uh, the plants and, and herbs that shouldn't be in the same pot, but they are. But essentially Lyle says, we have a good economy here and we're relatively safe. Although, well, I, I, I have told um, the elder that of the werewolf problem. And oh yeah, no, we don't have to beat around the bush then. Moino says yes, I am aware of this. Uh, I believe my niece has a caravan coming. Uh, another another set of supplies. We should be getting Starlight soon. After that, we, we, it'll be fine. There's a rotation of guards coming to help this town, but it seems that this werewolf problem is more of an immediate threat. I assume for your services in the town, you'll be paid? He also doesn't seem to want to beat around the bush. He kind of looks to the party. Now you speaking my language. Seems fair. 
Yes. How long do you plan on staying in town, might I ask? Well, most likely once we help solve this werewolf problem, we'll be off. Uh, we'll Talos and shrugs. I don't expect this to take more than a week. Alright. I will try to send a missive. My niece and her company should be arriving in about two weeks. I was going to ask if the party would like to stay until then and help defend the town? After this problem leaves? What would we be defending the town from? For the right price. Yes, of course. Uh, hold, well, hold on, hold on. Like, wait, from... No, from what? What are we talking about here? Lyle, um, the, the elder shifts nervously in his seat and then looks over to Lyle. And Lyle says, there's something happening in the forest. I'm not too sure what's happening. But in recent months, there have been troubling, well, stirrings, to say the least. The trees don't grow properly. There are certain herbs that don't grow in place anymore. I've tried to speak to the elves, but they don't really seem to care too much. They say it's just a part of the season. It's becoming winter soon. But I think it's a little bit more than that. Uh, Melandis, and he, he kind of trails off. The werewolf. She and I are investigating some things. I mentioned the cave. She went in, then she came out different. A cave? Yes. I don't suppose you could show us this cave? I I can try to remember. Uh, Melandis remembers more than I do. We split up. All I know is that there is one. If we're able to, to help Melandis and, and, and save her from this curse, I'm sure she'll show it to you. Wesley kind of like listens and, and, and is writing notes in his in his, in his journal but uh seems kind of unnecessary oh i forgot he was here <laughs> yeah wesley is there too he's quiet he's very quiet um he, he's listening attentively and um kind of like shuffles over nervously not nervously next to calgrist and and writes down so what do you think about this whole thing and kind of shows it to you calgrist and like as a result the rest of the party kind of looks at his his journal I kind of move over close to him and I, I whisper, do you think this has anything to do with our mission? Uh, Way too big to be a coincidence. He flips the page and says, "It's this is too much to be a coincidence. I suggest we do um, investigate. Hey! And uh, he closes the book and he, he in gestures to the party to continue. Uh, he seems to just take a lazy fare to this thing. He's more of a hard contractor. He kind of leans back and lets the party do the decisions. He just kind of crosses his legs and crosses his arms and listens attentively, while sipping on some of the very fancy rose tea that the uh, elder had provided for the party. Oh, yeah, I just have, like, a fucking tray of hors d'oeuvres in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> they are very tasty. Um, I kind of glare over at Calgress. I'm going to try and take whichever ones he hasn't eaten I'm yet. I'm hungry. Calgris is a hungry boy. We literally Share? just ate. Share, though. Have you seen what it takes to fuel this body? <laughs> and the, Unfortunately, uh, the elder, I have. <laughs> the, the elder chuckles a little bit and uh, stands up and um, he moves behind his mahogany desk and opens it up with a, with a key and he takes out a small lockbox and he places it on the table. He, uh, he opens it and, it's, and inside he says 200 coin for the werewolf problem. 200 up front, another 200 when you complete. Oh. All right. Should you decide to stay in town, every week I will pay the party another 200 coin. I wish for these people to be safe. And funds are not lacking in this in these parts. Do we have an agreement? So how is it you guys make your money again? I mean, they sell just... the herbal stuff, the, the herbs, is clear. Yeah. Yeah, they, they ship medicines. That's not, still, it's quite a, a large amount of funds. Baldrick, they have a druid growing in the middle of town. I think, um... Yeah, yeah, I think they're selling plenty. The old man actually says... Your, um, your gentleman friend is correct. I have connections. As you can see in my home, I come from Orntia. 
Well, for a little bit. I did not like it. That's why I left. Never been, I hear it's terrible. <laughs> and the elder kind of laughs again and says, Well, depending for the right people, others... Well, it could be a haven. But for an old man like myself, just wanting to protect his townsfolk, any coin is worth it. This coin isn't from the economy. This is my own personal coin. I just want my town to be protected. Uh, don't worry about it. I don't think it's even going to come to defending uh, the town or whatever that you're worried about. All right. Uh, either way, we got a, we got some wolfsbane that we need to go pick up. And he says, I understand. Do we agree then? Yeah. I mean, what, what do you guys think? He... I mean, it sounds fair. If sounds fair. Some gold for fair. werewolf crab I'll, I'll do that. All right. Um, All right. I turn over to, what's the ranger's name? Lyle. Let All right. I turn over to Lyle. You. All right, baby face. Let's get going. <laughs> He's not wrong. He, he, he speaks up and he chokes a little bit, and the elder kind of chuckles again. Oh, it's like, I wish I had more entertain entertainment like this. It's dreadfully boring in these parts. And uh, he stands up and he uh, he walks to the door and he opens it and um, and shows shows the party out, including Lyle. Dreadfully entertaining. All right, so the party leaves. And uh, what does the party do now? Well, first things first, it's the wolf's mane. Alright, and uh, Lyle says, I know where if you grow in the forest. We can set out now. Um, would you like to get supplies? Stop by places? How far uh, is it? I mean, I'm pretty packed up here. I actually, so... like, uh, I'll, I'll take this time. I'll, like, go back to the wagon. I'll pick up all my stuff. Yeah, you get your stuff yeah. and, uh, and the, the only and, thing and I'm leaving to... behind. Um, I guess I'll take my dagger just in case, actually, mm -hmm. and I'll leave behind one of the packs of books. All right. So just so you know, um, I'll let you guys go through your inventory. You, you do have an extra two on a coin that you can spread apart amongst the party, or you can save it for later. But someone note that there is a lockbox of two hundred coins inside of it. Uh, why not just create a character or a handout for the wagon that we can edit? Well, actually, that's what I did. If you go yeah, to party yeah, yeah. Has it. and you edit yeah, it, there's, yeah. there's a carriage. Awesome. And if you put the lockbox in, edit. Yeah. yeah, you can put the lockbox in there. It's zero load. It's just a small lockbox. Actually, it's one load, but it doesn't really count for yeah, a carriage. I'll, I'll put it up. All right. So uh, someone who who likes to do that stuff can be like the treasurer, or some crap like that. I'll I'll take charge of that. Right, so they also put like one bag of books in there. Five uses. Yeah, yeah absolutely. All right. So that, that's too too low right now in the, in the thing. And as you drop by, the, the teenage Onke just waves and says, Hello! In, in, in puberty voice. Oh my god. He's just kind of grazing with the horses right now. He's kind of comfortable around them. And uh, Morgan, uh, you come by and uh, all, all four horses, and one of them is like, Where are apples? Do you have apples? Do you have apples today? It's a bit of a ritual. Yeah, um, those horses are going crazy. <laughs> they are kind of going crazy. Every, to everyone else, you just hear, nah, nah, poof, poof, and like Morgan's just talking to them, but in Morgan, like they're actually speaking her language. It's, it's hilarious. Like, All right, the apples that I wasn't able to get. All right, so you, you quickly run into town, and let's say for like 10 coin, I'll give you like a week's supply of apples that you can feed them. <laughs> All right, that's good. <laughs> Well, you got a fucking bucket, and uh, you notice something a little bit interesting about these apples. They taste like apples. They're regular apples, but they're pretty large. Like, usually an apple is like the size of your palm, but it looks kind of like half the size of, uh, how should I say this? I mean, for 10 gold, you probably just arrange somebody to bring them out to the damn horses for you. Out of a small melon. These, these are, are just some, uh, gonna ask the, 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 the produce salesman, what... What what kind of fertilizer are you using? For oh these? yes, these apples—they're from Lady Othenistock. They make the greatest pies. Okay. If you want, I can give you my family's recipe. Wow! Look at my apples! <laughs> <laughs> well, how about them apples? Oh my God! Sure. Daniel, Daniel, you still didn't fix your shit. No, I, I did that on purpose. Oh. And, um, oh, I see. He he gives you like a small recipe for you to make like some pie later with some with some apples. And he's like, how about them apples, he says, and gives it to you. No. Fuck <laughs> off. Gonna why, give him a very forced laugh. That'll be on my way. 
<laughs> and you come back and you get you feed the apples to the horses and the, the lovers like, oh my god, these are the best apples I've ever had. And uh, you eat them, and they eat them, and they're content. And the on keg, uh, the teenage on keg, no longer baby on keg, the teenage on keg uh, picks up an apple and eats it. And in the party, uh, what do you guys do now? Just are like going to your inventory. Or or what do they eat? Horses? Every every no. no, fucking on kegs, man. On we know horses. I know oh, what oh. horses eat. <laughs> I I grew up with horses. How dare you? He did. He did. What do all kegs? Are they omnivores or? Yeah, like, they're omnivores. Yeah, they, they eat like little grubs and bugs too. I imagine. Yeah, okay. they eat bugs too. Is important probably information. Whatever they get in their mouth. That's yeah, also much. probably true. Moles. Right. Uh. You've had to um uh, shoo uh, shoo shoo the on cake away from your books a couple times. Just say that. Oh no. Yeah, I can see him doing that. Okay. Right. All right. Uh, so everybody get supplies ready. Yes, and uh, the the horses kind of like you have a moment with your horses. They you're going to attach to them, right? They have characters, right? They 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 they're, they're cool. They chill. Anyways. Chill. So. Right. I look at my horse, and my horse looks back, and we know. <laughs> you, 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 there's know. Like this silent, just, just, you know. Amazing. Anyway, yeah, I guess we're gonna mount up and take the horses, huh? There's kind of no reason. You want to take the horses? We kind of should. We, we don't really want to waste any time. Nope, we got no time to waste, and it's <sighs> like afternoon already. Yeah, it's afternoon. Um, normally it would take about six hours, and it'll be late oh, night. Fuck yeah, we need to like. Get uh, but the with horses. the horses, you're able to like, cut that time in half. Good. Do we need to get camping supplies or anything like that, or is that adventuring if you supplies? Guys want to. Is that adventuring uh, supplies? Is that what that is? Uh, yeah, it would be adventuring supplies. It would take like. I guess one... adventuring supplies would like give you a bonus to making camp. Is how that would work, right? Uh, you can make camp. It's just. You, um, it's assumed that you guys have. Yeah, yeah, that's what I mean. Supplies. That's what I mean. Like, if I used it, it would be like a bonus to do whatever. Yeah, you can. I yeah. guess. I, I guess you can. We can house rule that. You so. can be, make it a better camp or something. Yeah, well, isn't isn't yeah. that what adventure? Adventure kit is just like a bonus to using. You have this whatever. this specialized yeah. thing. Yeah, you do have like on a, a, a happen chance like uh, yeah, you have yeah, the yeah. the planet. So yeah, you take your adventurer's gear. And does I mean, I'm already taking that stuff? anyway. But yeah, absolutely. All right. So, the party is about to undertake a perilous journey into the Silver Forest. Yeah. <gasps> I'm great at those. When, right. you say, when you say perilous... Unknown territory. It's also kind of like when you have to do this as well. Alright, so I believe the three roles uh, is the quartermaster. I'm sorry, could you flip to that book a little bit slower for my ASMR, please? Fucking brat. <laughs> 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 right, so, uh, all right, so, Jesus, damn it, I can't do anything. All right, so I believe someone has to take uh, is the trailblazer. Someone is the. Oh yeah, we haven't done this in forever. Yes. So, uh, yeah. Do we get a bonus from our friend? I mean, since he probably yes. like knows the place. He's a ranger, so he succeeds at one. Oh, so he just automatically covers one. Yeah, we get an automatic cover. So yeah. what are the, yeah, what so are the positions I. again? Uh, the quartermaster reduces number of rations by one. The trailblazer reduces the amount of time it takes to reach your destination. So you already have horses. This will make it even more so. And the scout will spot any trouble quick enough to, to get the drop on it. The so ranger he says trailblaze and scout. Yeah, okay, so he's going to... he's gonna He says he'll offer the trailblaze since he knows this. Uh, who has... I can quartermaster. We should do that, I guess. It doesn't really... Okay. I mean, we have plenty of rations, but, like, not wasting is good. Yes, but you're gonna get a plus one to undertake perilous journeys now because you resolved your bond with Morgan. Uh, oh, yeah. Yes. You know how to survive now. Yes, not, you do. I'm not terrible. You're not terrible at that. So you get a plus one to the... To, to not all wisdom, but, like, just undertaking perilous journey. So, go ahead, roll your wisdom, plus, uh, your wis- uh, roll ten, or pfft, roll your wisdom, guys. Roll your boy. So up to nine. nine. So it takes in a regular amount of food. You're still getting used to it. You're still getting used to it. But you're not, like, shitting yourself. Uh, picking up the wrong mushrooms and having diarrhea. Well, dude, I just purify that shit. Are you kidding me? My god, let's just purify whatever food I want to. <laughs> and uh, what about... Do you guys have also prepared spells, all that stuff? You're locked in for, for this. So yeah, let me double check it... what my spells are and, and make sure that's what I want. Spells, right? <laughs> um, it's my level plus one, right? So yes, yeah, seven. Yeah, I've got mine one, prepared. Two. Oh yeah, that's right. I asked if we wanted telepathy or invisibility, and I'm going with invisibility. 
All right. Okay. So let me just stop this real quick. Or actually, let me switch Cage to Summon Monster because we're not we're not going to need Cage just yet. Cage is for when we actually have the werewolf ready, and that's just not in case be something right. happens. I have hold person, so it's fine. Yes. Yeah, that'll that'll work in a pinch. Cage is like fucking foolproof, though. All right. So, uh, the party goes into the Silver Forest. Um, the minute you enter, the trees start to cover the sky. You look up, and it looks like there's a starry night above the party. Light still shines. There's a tinge of yellow from the sunlight that peers through every now and then. But for the most part, the party is shrouded. Talison, what, the f what is this? <laughs> Tal Talison, what is this? <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna Explain. spout lore. Yeah, go ahead. But I think I know what this is anyway. Boop -a doop. Hey, one thing interesting and one thing important. So, this is sprout lore. What exactly do you want to sprout lore about? Okay, so like, describe to me again what happened. All right. So as the party enters into the forest, the the, the leaves and the trees tend to like cover the sky and like light kind of peers in but it doesn't really and when you look up it's like it's like an endless starry night light twinkles and uh baldrick you actually much like how the sea twinkles with starlight it seems like it's the opposite instead of um, in the sea it's on in, in in the air it's oh, in the sky I mean, first of all you dummy this is why they call it the silver forest this is literally <laughs> why yes it is very likely why they call it the silver forest yeah um, but one thing important to note is that uh, there is a tinge of yellow, there is a tinge of silver and blue, but something feels a little bit off in, in this forest. You can't help but see colors of red and green. Oh yeah, the man is all through. fucked. The man is all fucked, and I bet that's directly something... related to the gate. Like yes, there's something happening within the trees. Lyle doesn't see it. He he kind of mm -hmm. feels it and from intuition as a ranger, but oh, he doesn't yeah. see it. Also, he's you, lived here all of his life, so a drastic yeah. change in the environment would be noticed. Yes, exactly. And because he does this every day, he would notice. But most of the townsfolk, mm. he, he kind of feels that they don't really believe him. The only person that does believe him is the Elder, Elder Morneau. Okay. And So I'm pretty sure that gate is about halfway open right now. So From the look of this... That? Yeah, no, I'm saying that out loud, like, uh, just to the rest of the group looking up at the the starry night or the facsimile of it at least the the natural like uh, the ley lines or whatever like the yeah the mountain the mana the, yeah the, the mana the this place mana. is all like out of whack like it's it's basically falling apart and lyle who who, who hears this just look, turns and looks at you you can see it do you believe me right can I see it? I mean, we walked in here and I can see it, so I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Congress, do you see it? Baljik, you, you sort of see it. Actually, what happens is Sasha kind of points it out for you. Um, he kind of like flows and, and, and drifts along these starry lights, sort of like a, like the Silver Surfer from the Marvel comics. He's, he's kind of like flowing through and dancing. And, um, but Morgan, it's a little different for you. You feel like you're suffocating. There's like this pungent smell you can't get out of your head. There's it's nothing like anything, any fauna or any um, any scent that animals leave behind. But like there's something pungent. Like you just, it's like there's this constant feeling of this reeking. Okay, is it making me physically sick? It's not making you physically sick, but it's like it's a little bit woozy. Like you, your eyes every now and then they kind of like shift. No one else feels this. Only Morgan does. Only Morgan does. Um, How's my arm looking? Your arm is is glowing right now, but only you can see it. Like, um, you, you asked, like, hey, you guys see my, this arm, or you don't, you don't ask up till you, but like, you, you notice before. I mean, I, I mean, she's I, not gonna make it very subtle that she's looking at her arm. Morgan, okay, so Talison, you notice know Morgan looking at, at her arm. Yeah, well, I, I, I sort of imagine it like Morgan like covers up her arm and is like looking around, and I kind of look over and see her like clutching her hand over her arm, and I kind of don't really react. Which is maybe what gives Morgan the idea that other people can't see it. Because I'm just like, what mm -hmm. are you, like, okay. I, I, I just sort of figured that she's put unease by, like, all the the weird nature shit because she's an elf. Like, Alright, so, um, let me know. just double check. So, 
here here's with the party there it's uh, it's the party the four play players harold lyle and wesley wesley's also joined and he, he's he's all geared up and he's coming in and he's helping you you guys as well mm -hmm. and he's like kind of like looking around and, and drawing stuff in, in his book you know like marking and kind of doing cartography along the way and um so remind me though the gate in the north was the soul the gate that we closed was the body what, what does yes. that make this one um so wesley kind of like thinks a little bit and uh, he 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 flips back in his book like as if he's written the notes remember how you said tally said that um, i mentioned it to you that his book doesn't seem to ever leave the center yeah he's slipping he's slipping mad mm -hmm. and, and then he and he stops and he points and <clears throat> he opens and he shows to you it says his divinity Okay, and that's then a separate part, he, huh? Yeah, it's a separate. That's a separate part. This metaphysical being is getting really confusing to me. <laughs> I mean, Voss is kind of makes sense. Yes, I know, but uh, Shigara is a little bit different. In other words, it's um, it's it's worship. Worship is a part of his power. If that makes any sense. Mm. I mean, yeah, he's a deity, so yeah, that makes perfect sense. I mean, that lines up with the corruption that I'm seeing coming out of it, at least. If my assumptions are correct, and I mean they were one hundred percent of the time last time, so. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Anyway, let's get what we're here for. All right, so you guys start to so you you make it through. Um, with the, you all succeed because rangers are freaking crazy like that. Hey, how many rations do we eat then? Uh, one per person. Okay, I'll just reduce mine by one. Reduce by one. All right, so reduce your rations by one per person. And uh, the other NPCs can do their own stuff. So anyways. Uh, with that, you find the wolfsbane. You're scrolling along the side of a bush. And Lyle says, here, and you start to gather. Yeah, you get a whole bunch of it. You get a whole bunch of it. So what is exactly you're trying to do with the wolfsbane again? You're trying to make a cure? Well, right. So you said that the requirements for the cure were elf hair, which we got. Yes. Well, no, you didn't get the elf hair. You did not. I got it from Morgan. Well, no. My, oh, you're in a, oh, my hair. Yes. The wolf yes, hair. Yes. The actual hair. The or the, hair. the thing yeah. from the werewolf. We don't have right, right. <laughs> that. The, the, right. We have to capture the werewolf and get hair from it, too. But, yes. Uh, yes. That, that, that one, too. So uh, we have to do that. And we need the wolf's mane. And what else was there that we needed? We needed help from the elves, you said? Huh? You, well, or was that, was that actually a condition? Was that not that a... Was not I didn't say that. It was okay. just he needed the, uh, yeah, and also like blood or something. I think he needed Maybe. blood from a werewolf or something from the werewolf, like a tuft of pair of blood mm -hmm. of its essence. He needed um, spring water that uh, Lal also knows and is going to bring you there soon. Oh right, and we'll spain. There That's we go. Spring. That's what we can remember. Okay, so I mean, we just need to go to the spring then. But I mean, it's All it's right. getting late, and I guess we have to make camp now, or or is the spring nearby? The spring that, is that nearby. Like a, a, but a better place to make camp, if you're asking me. You want to? All right. So, with that, give me two seconds. Oof. Okay. Mal brings you to a spring. Um, it's a bit of a waterfall that falls from what appears to be emptiness um, from trees. It's very strange. Um, there's a higher hill, mm, and okay, you, no, when, you, when you're that. on top of that, like distance in, in in the Silver Forest is very strange. You seem to be in places that you are, and then you aren't. You swore you've seen the same tree seven times, but you've moved past it. And Lyle seems to know these woods very well. And uh, Morgan, you do too, which is strange because you've never been here before. Never been here. Never been here before at all. All right. Hold on, I just need to transfer your characters over. That is not the page I was looking for. Um. What's up? Can I do a, can I do a discern reality? You may uh, absolutely do discern realities. Hmm. Because that's uh that's a very odd feeling. I'm feeling sick, and no one else is feeling it. Yes. And I'm suddenly knowing hey. the place that I've never been. Yeah, Alex, I'd also like to discern realities. Um, okay. Uh, what I want to do, right. though, is I want to try to uh, look up and, like, I can see, like, these these veins, right, of uh, these energies, like, writhing around up in there, up in the sky, right? 
Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I want to see if I can, like, while we're walking, since, I mean, I'm just riding the horse, I don't really have to pay attention to where I'm going. Um, I'm just going to, like, watch them. Uh, I want to, I'm trying to justify using my intelligence here, but I want to watch how they, like, interact with each other and just see, yeah, okay. like, if I can sort of, like, try to figure out, like, how they're working or where they're coming from, maybe. Okay, go, both of you can roll your just Oh, my. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Oh, Morgan, you're, you're feeling too way too queasy to, to ask those questions. Where the hell is the, um, the, the cheat sheet thing? I can probably just Google that. Oh, hold on. Do you want the questions? Yeah, that's what, the GM sheet is, is the thing, and I found yeah. it already. I just, you just Google that. Okay. Okay, here we go. So what do I get on a 14? Well, you get to ask How me three many? questions from the list. Uh, three questions, okay. Yes. Oh, that's a fail. Hold on. <laughs> yeah, you gotta have more experience. What here is not what it appears to be? Um, here, I'll just give you the questions. Mm -hmm. um, what should we be on the lookout for? And what here is useful or valuable to me? Okay. So the party makes their way over to uh, this creek over here, and Wesley, uh, he kind of warms over and kind of happily skips down the rocks and washes his face and washes his hands and drinks. It's very pure. It, it seems to, like, glisten and light and bolder. You also immediately notice there's also starlight in the water as well, though very little slight. Little dust and glimmer kind of flows through the river like mana, like dust trickling through the waters. Um, I broke oh, yeah. it. And the water cleans itself of dirt whenever you wash yourself in it, like the Ganges. Oh my gosh. Uh, so, uh, what was the first question again? Um, one second. Fuck. First question is, what here is not what it appears to be? Alright, so, you take a look at the top of the, the leaves. You kind of, um, you, you nestle down, you rest for a little bit. You've been riding for a while, and you let the horses graze and, and drink the water. I'm not going to port them over, I'm too lazy. Um, and... You look up, you notice the way that the leaves move, they don't really seem to be like leaves. They seem to be an illusion more so. You look at it and you kind of see a pattern in how they move. It's like something played on repeat, almost. You, you, you take a look at a small section and they seem to be playing a motion. And five minutes later, it plays that motion again and again. And again, by the third time, which after 15 minutes, you're like, okay, this is this is an illusion. This, these aren't actually the leaves. There's something else going on in here. Okay. And uh, what's the next question? Um, what, what should, should I be on the lookout for? for? Yeah. All right. So you notice some of the the red and the green kind of lines that kind of very slight. They seem to crack almost uh, the outer shell. They seep in and out, in and out of existence. You, you notice it, you know, like when you close your eyes and like this little piece of dust in your eye, and you kind of follow it. Mm -hmm. It's exactly like that. The more you look at it, the more you it, it, it tries to disappear. So you stop trying to look for it, and that's what you should be looking for. And th those little traces of mana, and also there's a scent, a scent of wet fur that starts to wa that starts to waft in the air. <sighs> okay, what here is useful or valuable to me? Right, so obviously the water is very useful and valuable to you that you know of immediately. Yeah. But uh, aside from that, there's nothing much else. Um, it seems to be a very pristine and clear river, but uh, you notice there's a couple clearing of rocks that you can use to hide behind cover, should you be ambushed. Would I recognize like this forest is a, or would I have known that this forest is a source of starlight? You would never have known that. You you know of the silver forest, but how humans seldom come into this forest or actually make it this far. Uh, people who try to go in either get lost or go crazy, or well, without proper training and proper guidance, it's very easy to, to come in and disappear. So it's like a bit of a stay away zone for humans, especially people from Ordsia, which are more familiar with dealing with the sea. So you're seeing this starlight right now. You know it as starlight. But it just seems so plentiful and bountiful here. Can can I take like my canteen or whatnot and fill it full of it? You want to try and fill it full of starlight? Yeah, of the water that has starlight in it. Sure. Uh, you kind of take your canteen, your water skin, you, you drink whatever's left of it, or you dump it to the side, and, and you lean over, and the starlight kind of goes into the canteen as well as some of the water, and you close it shut. 
Does it kind of glow through the skin of the water of the no, canteen? No, there's not a lot. There's not a lot of starlight, or at least that's what uh, Baldrick knows. I just turn towards Lyle and I say, "Has this place always been a source of starlight?" Lyle kind of start. Oh yes. Well, I guess you would know it as that. Um, I just call it mana, just part of the earth, light that flows through, moonlight that flows through. But I guess um, when I came here with Melandis, when she was showing me the forest, um, that's what happened. We saw it everywhere. I guess, well, I've never been to Ornzia. I don't really know much about Starlight. So that's all I can really tell you. That's what he says. So, Morgan, what are you doing? Being sick. <laughs> so, you're being sick. And uh, do you, like, go and what do you do? You're just kind of, like, sitting down, making camp, relaxing? making camp uh i am going to uh go up to that water yes and i'm gonna see if uh mm. is it drinkable hey. it's drinkable hey. it's definitely drinkable i'm gonna scoop up a little in my hand and, t and drink some right. of it so you're about to say something Talison? uh yeah i'm gonna go up to the water as well i'm gonna kind of right. first i'm gonna take off my boots yes and also roll up my tights <laughs> I ain't getting them soaked. Um, yep. I'm going to scoop up a little bit of that starlight. You're going to try and scoop up that starlight? Okay, so yeah, you do that. Yeah, hand. I just want to hold and it. You're, you're kind of like um, about shin deep into the water right now, and you're, you're leaning over. And Morgan, you, you touch the water. And for the first time, every single person around you sees a tattoo on your arm, and it's glowing. It's bright. It's for me, bright. For me, it's bright. Oh my! Does it glow brighter? It glows brighter. So like before, like there's like a faint hue. It's like trying to like taking a look at LED lights when you put like a blanket over it. Like there's a faint little hue to it. But this time it's bright. It's like opening your phone at 4 a.m. in the morning, bright. Um, uh, that just radiates from your arms, and immediately everyone sees it. You jerk my hand away. You, you immediately jerk your hand away, and. As you jerk your hand away, the water, it flows, and it wraps around your arm like a snake. It reaches up and clings against you. It feels warm. It feels comforting. And that feeling of queasiness, that feeling of sickness, and like you don't belong, yet you do belong, seems to wash away. And then the water drops. And, 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 and the tattoo, it glows. It continues to glow. And then it subsides. But when it leaves, the markings of blue wrap your arm like a sleeve and now everyone can see this it's no longer glowing and tell us and you're like you almost scoop this up you know, up some starlight and then you turn and look over to morgan as it happens and the starlight kind of like washes through your hands you're completely distracted oh that's each right it's pretty bright it was very noticeable and wesley's wesley his eyes are he's he's wide-eyed and harold is just kind of leaning kind of like picking his teeth from his dinner and he's like well this seems to be normal with you guys so i'm just going to continue eating <laughs> this is fine this I is just, i just love how unbothered he is by everything I mean, yeah, it's how he is. <laughs> he rode um, in a caravan yeah. with a on keg. I think he's used to this. He also fought against a giant orc god, so he, he's fine. I'm gonna move Taylorson up here. So, Morgan, you, your arm is glowing. I don't know what this is. And she's going to look visibly concerned and a bit panicked. I don't think I've ever seen that reaction to Starlight before. Hmm. The, the, the uneasiness and uh, it's it's gone away, right? Yes. Mm. Your arm glows too. <laughs> Your arm glows too. Hey, uh, Alex, <laughs> have I spout lore about this? Yes, you may. Can I maybe use my plus this. one from having discern realities? Uh, uh, you get to get a plus one because you're acting up on the earlier stuff as well. Yeah, so yes, you get a plus one to this. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Because, like, I think this is probably related to the, the yes, way that the um, leaves are mm -hmm, fucked up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's well, an eight. You got a, that's an eight. So you got one interesting thing. Uh, doesn't necessarily have to be helpful, yeah. Yeah, it doesn't have to necessarily be helpful. You've seen this before. <clears throat> I'm gonna Fuck. pull at the... Th you said the, the water is, like, Making a sleeve on my arm, right? Yeah, it's so since then dropped. It's it's, it's reacting like normal water now. And Talison, you've Where seen have I these seen this before, yeah. You've seen these markings before. It's kind of racking your brain right now because it was very um. It was very happen chance how you came across this. 
but four statues you remember in remember Albo the Starbright. Remember his dungeon. Remember when you first went down there and you found Sasha and Oh, there was the like game. an elf with like all kinds of markings on it, wasn't it? Yes. That's what you remember. I'm gonna touch the water again. You touch the water again, and it seems like a starlight lingers around your fingers a little bit and then moves on. And you, you take a look closer as Talia said, you take a look closer to Morgan when his hands touch the water and, and, and the runes and the markings, they look very similar. Very similar hmm. to the markings of that one elf. I'm gonna and reach in the like, like reach out of, on my belt and pull out this staff here. Yes. And I'm gonna like kind of like hold it in my hand and consider it for a moment and then just jam it down into the water. Like, right into right. The, the silt underneath my feet. Okay. So you take the staff, and you jam it into the rock. Nothing happens for a little bit. And then you kind of jimmy a little bit, and then it touches the soil. The staff itself glows brighter. Runes that had never shown itself before until now wrap around, creating lines of text in Old Elvish that even you have trouble reading. It glows bright. And Sprout... It starts sprouting near the tip. It starts sprout sprouting near the side, and then it reforms itself. And then you look at it, and it feels easy in your hands. It seems connected to you now. It seems rejuvenated, and the oak that looked brittle and and weathered seems to be alive again, new. How will you decide to use it next? Well, it depends. Well, that's what happens to your staff, though. I just kind of like hold it, I, I gently like pull it out of the, the little silty rocks down there and, and just kind of look at it. But I don't do anything. Yeah, it's, it's just, it looks like you just like you touch the world again in the water. And uh, you do notice that the starlight actually kind of enters it. And Baltic, this is all fascinating to you. Like, the, like you've never seen starlight react like this and it's such a natural way before. Um. Not, 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 not in the way that you see these elves react to the starlight. And Wesley is just sitting in the corner, just like scribbling all this down. He is frantically writing as much as he can with his pen. He's going through page by page as he stares. He runs up and he looks and he actually like very boldly grabs your hands, Morgan, and like shakes it and like looks at you with like such glee in his eyes. I look back and in it, panic and say, you I back still in don't know what this is. You've upset the boy. <laughs> Lyle is just like, he says, I, I haven't even seen this react with Melandis. We used to go swimming, uh, and he kind of like trails off a little bit um, near the end of that, and he kind of like blushes and looks to the side. M Melandis and I used to go here all the time. Um, it's never reacted to her like that before, and she's an elf. And Wesley looks at Lyle and looks back at Morgan, and his eyes go even wider. And like he writes down, "What is your name?" M Morgan. No, 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 no. Th there's more to it. There's more to it. What is your full name? And, and, and then like he writes it down and shows it to you again. She pauses for a moment. Morgana, Erica, Atris. And then. He flips back in his book, he looks back and forth, he, he points at you in the motion of one second, and you notice him pacing, circling, he kind of goes off to his own little corner again, and paces around in circles. Now the rest of you, there's the silence. The sound of the waterfall just continues to flow. And, uh, Congress, Vaz comes out. Oh and god, why now? <laughs> <laughs> he, he does whatever he pleases. And he leans in real close to the water, and you notice that there is no reflection when he leans over as a shadow. No, so it's dip you in there, right? Pardon? What were you gonna say? I'd contemplated soaking myself in this water just for you, buddy. Voss says, "Oh, you might as well. I'd love to see you all drenched and wet." Voss says, and he kind of laughs to himself. You're welcome to try. And he kind of like, he his body kind of goes into the water, but not really goes into the water. It's like, it's a mist that disappears the lower he gets into the water. And then a hand comes out from underneath and he beckons you coming closer and says, Congress, the water's warm. <sighs> hey, um, I'd like to take the chance to remind everyone um, 
We haven't used it yet, but I picked up a skill, Know-It-All. It's whenever uh, someone else's character comes to me for advice and I tell them what to do. If you take my advice, you get a plus one forward to following it. Oh, yeah. nice. Yeah, so I'm going to jump in the water. Yeah, just <laughs> that might be useful. Cannonball! <laughs> and Colgrist, you, you jump into the water. <laughs> and uh, the water slaps, goes everywhere. And Baldrick, you actually get like a nice splash to your face and it messes up your hair. And, uh, I actually don't care at this point. <laughs> and it splashes on Wesley, and Wesley does care. It's like, he looks at you and says, really? And has the facial expression and the point in like his hands, right? And um, Colgrist, you notice that his book didn't get wet. The water hit his book. Baldrick's butt. still, uh, not Baldrick, jeez. Help me. Talson's still, like, in the water, right? Yeah, uh, I'm like Shin Deep here. Water. Yeah, Shin Deep, yeah. Uh, Hold, holding a glowing... saunter out there. Yeah. So, Morgan, you kind of saunter out there. Or, weren't you further in than me? What? No, yes. she just stuck her hand in. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Alright, well, I mean, I, I turn over to Morgan. I'm, like, just holding the, the staff. Have Morgan. you seen this before and she's gonna show Towson her arm um I, I give like a little once over the the arms like I hold you I like grab your wrist and hold it out these are the same do you remember the statues uh at the entrance to the gate I do these tattoos were on the unnamed elf woman the one with yeah. this and I and they shake the staff. An unnamed elf priestess. Morgan, do you remember the stories you were told as a kid? About an elf priestess who sacrificed her life to stop a calamity hundreds of years ago? Her life whose essence she gave to the Oaken Heart to protect it? Do you remember those stories, Morgan? The ones you grew up on with your grandfather? They kind of appear in your head a little bit and you just kind of look and and you're not sure where to put to and do with this. So she's going to ask Towson, what... What does this mean? I'll, I'll, shrugs. I'll be, I'll be, fr I'll be frank with you, Towson. I'm scared. I mean, it... Um... Talson scratches the back of his head. Um... Maybe it means you're related to her or something. I don't know. Like, that stuff can pass through the blood. That's, that's a, a known thing. I mean, um, I don't want to be too forward, but you're, you're, uh... I, I think the preferred term is city elf, right? Do you know anything yeah, about your parentage? <laughs> I mean, you tell me. Morgan, all you remember is that you were born in a caravan. They call you half-elves where I come from, and I, I just didn't think that that would be appreciated. She shakes her head. I was born in a caravan, and most of my time was spent with my grandfather. When you say that, Wesley... His eyes darts to you. His, he, he stops slipping his pages. He doesn't care. He runs up to you like his legs popping up and down the water trying to get up to you as fast <laughs> as he can. He says, well, he writes. What is the name of your grandfather? Baldred. I'm sure you've heard of him. He's, he's a big name. Wait, have I heard of that name? No, you have not heard of that name. <laughs> Let her have this. <laughs> you don't, let I mean, her I don't say this. anything, I just want to know. He flips a couple pages again. And, um, your, your whole name was what again? Uh... Let me flip back to it. Regatta Erica Atris. Atris. And he opens up, he says, he points at a name he's written there a long time ago. It reads, Fuldred Atris. Is that... He, and he turns to any page and says, this is the name of your grandfather. She nods. He closes the book. He looks. 
He's flat-faced right now. He's been glee and flat-faced right now. He walks over. And he just sits down and he starts writing just constantly. And then first he like opens up and says, please, one moment, I need to write this down. And then he continues writing. He seems to be so focused on writing in his journal right now. But you did notice your grandfather's name was in his book. And you've never he heard of this before. He didn't write that though, did he? He did write that. Oh, he, he wrote that. Write. Yes, as part of his notes a long time ago. And he just, he's looking through and furiously reading. And anyways. Hey, I'm so. gonna um, hold the uh, the staff out to Morgan. Hey, could you hold this for a second? Okay. I'm gonna take the staff. All right, I'm gonna resume There's... what I was doing, trying to scoop up a little piece of okay. uh, starlight. Yeah. You can scoop up. Do you, do you want to like have like a little vial that you want to scoop it up in or just your hands? Um, actually, I want to try to use it to uh, power a spell real quick, just to see if it works like that. Yeah, sure, you can. Uh, I want to cast Summon Monster. <laughs> All right. So you, so you you so you stand in the water and do, and you roll. Uh, do your roll for Summon Monster. All right. Oh shit. Oh, okay. home. So what do I get a bonus from that? You do. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna get to that in a second, but first, when Morgan holds the staff, there's a throw of power, but nothing, nothing really happens. I'm gonna take minus one uh, to spell casting. You're gonna take minus one to spell casting. All right. Yeah. Well, um, you don't fail. You don't fail. I mean, I just. But yeah. you still get the XP. You still get the XP. I uh, do. You? Okay. I think. Do you? Did I? Did we house roll that? I forgot. Yeah, I, I mean, no, you works. said that at one point, but I'm not sure if that's supposed to be how it works. That's that's not supposed to be how it works. <laughs> I think you only get experience if you to... don't do the thing. Yes. That's true. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. We we have plenty of experience going around, so I don't I don't think that's something we need to worry yeah. about. We don't so need extra you first experience. you start to summon you try to summon um whatever comes in the mind probably like a water golem or something. Or well, I mean uh, specifically I don't get to pick. You don't get to pick. It, oh, okay. The whole okay. uh hand. Let me pull up the the thing. No, and I, I have it open in front of me. Don't worry. I'm reading through it again. Yeah. It's it's supposed to be I like an animal notes. or something. Yeah. And and you decide based on the the things that I choose. Mm -hmm. Well, um, you start to summon uh, what appears to be um, the image of a wolf kind of em emanating like the water. And I only together. rolled one, so I only get to pick one of those. One of those stats, yeah. Um, but you didn't fail. You actually got a plus one to that because you're, you're in the presence and you're literally, there's starlight kind of oh, coursing through the your body. Oh, thing? Okay. Yeah, just boost, just boost the effects. At least that's what you know. And the wolf... It starts to like shatter and like it, it looks like it's about to attack you because it's because it's like where am i this is a silver forest like why are you doing this and it stops and then the starlight kind of seeps into it and it glows and baldrick is a, a glow that you're familiar with when starlight is used at home to power ships to power factories to power everything but it glows naturally in this being and it holds still and the wolf there is in front of you but its eyes glowing bright with flakes of starlight resembling eyes, kind of glowing there. Does the the starlight energy appear to be pooling somewhere in the uh, in the water? No, it doesn't seem to be pooling, it just seems to be coursing through. I'm gonna say um, it's not reckless and the bond is strong. The bond is strong. Well, you get to choose one of those things. Uh, I thought you said I get a plus one. No, plus one to the uh, roll. To the roll. Okay, okay. That's okay. Then um, I'm going to say it's not reckless. It's not reckless? Okay. Yeah. All right. So it's there and it looks at you and it stares. It looks waiting for a command. Uh, search this area. Make sure there's nothing like hiding in the shadows. All right. So as it starts to move and search, it, it moves. Hold on. Let me find a picture of a wolf real quick. Oof. There you go. Here's your wolf, buddy. Hello. Right. Small wolf. Small wolf. Not too big. Right. And he only rolled a he rolled a seven. I'm gonna choose one. Mm -hmm. So it actually walks right up about here, and then it stops, and its fur, quote unquote, its water fur starts to raise on its on, on the back of its neck. Something's coming. Something is coming fast. And you notice 
for the first time. You didn't notice it the other night, but Valdrick, you turn around and you notice Lyle, his head is pounding. And he's weak at the knees. He kind of falls to the ground. Coming from the far end of the forest, you hear a growl. A loud growl. As something peers, you notice its figure, its shadow, similar to the, the one that you had the night before. As this giant... One second, here we go. Aha! Were, um, werewolf barrels out in its scent and its eyes, deep red, staring at Lyle, running through. I want to cast the arcane art on it to remove the... Yeah, you, you can totally do that. Uh-oh. Shit. Uh-oh. Hey, I want to oh. cast invisibility on uh, Morgan, actually. All right, so you can cast invisibility on Morgan. Let me roll that. Take a minus one to this. Nice. Oh, well, I'm gone. Hey, I want to double it. Um, and actually, sorry. I don't. Okay, that's really loud. Oh, I'm sorry. I'll fix no, that. I'm actually, gonna... don't worry about Hold it. On. Yeah, it's fine. You can lower. You can lower the volume level. Okay. Enough. Yeah. Um. Anyway, so yeah, I want to um, double that then to also invisible eyes myself. Invisibilize yourself. Yes, so we're both invisible. So the both of you have vanished. Uh, <laughs> Double invisible. Double Hell invisible. Yeah. Come on. This is a perfect icon. Yeah. All right. So with that, the werewolf charges through, barreling through. Wait, it's, Baldrick? it's fur. Oh, there he is. Yeah, it's fur. Uh, uh, like washes through as the starlight hits the body, but it seems to reflect off, bounce off. Its essence no longer a part of this elf. And he charges through, and it runs about right halfway here, and, Wes and Wesley just ducks out of the way, and Harold stands in front of Lyle, who has buckled down to the ground. You notice there's a scar on his chest, gashed. One of the, one of his, his chest is, he was hit. He was hit by the werewolf, but he hadn't mentioned it until now. Oh, and it, like, started hurting whenever the werewolf showed up? Yes, it started okay, hurting when okay. the werewolf showed up. And its eyes, and uh, Talos, and you remember from the lore of you read about werewolves, is that werewolves tend to go hunt for those that they care for the most first. That's fucked up. You're no, fucked actually, up. That's totally, actually, within the lore, so... It comes barreling out. Where was the humanoid, right? Oh, uh, sorry? Where was the humanoids, right? I, I guess the uh, I guess they're humanoids. Yeah, baby. Whole person. All right, you got a whole person? Yes, I right. will. Roll it. What is the exact exact spell? Yeah, read it out for us because we've never heard it. And, and... Whole person. Choose a person you can see until you cast a spell or leave their presence. They cannot act except to speak. This effect right. ends immediately if the target takes damage from any source. Oh. All right. Shit. Okay. So it is snared, and um, Voss, he appears from under the water. His shadows wrap around its leg, and it grips it. It's unable to move. It roars out in pain. It screeches. And as it screeches, you notice something, Morgan, and Talos on its back. There are arrows sticking out of it, and there's an axe sticking out of it. Not too surprising. I want no. to take advantage of that opportunity to try to remove it again. Yeah, go ahead. That doesn't count as Morgan. damage, right? Just so we're clear. Yes. It, it, uh, well, that does not count as damage. No, okay, you're, you're correct. That it has count. to be damage. I, I just want to clarify damage. that before we do something very silly. It has to yeah. take HP damage. All right. So you're gonna get you're gonna get a plus two to that, plus one to that. Anyways, so you start to play. Its eyes, its flicker, go black, then red, then black, then red, and then looks at Lyle, and there's actual empathy in its eyes and it looks to the party and it roars it tries to communicate and morgan you notice on his back the arrows they're not elven they're not human they're orcish wait hold on morgan should be able to understand the werewolf oh yeah you're right is it technically an ally because it's technically it's an animal, technically, right? technically an animal. Right. it is morgan, both a humanoid and understand. an animal so it says the orcs they're here you need to run now and just read on cue you notice Green eyes appear once again under cloaks, teeth bearing ear to ear as they laugh 
maniacally. Green ichor flows from their teeth. You recognize these ones. Oh, of course. Oh, good. Oh, Would you say this bad. is a crowd of orcs? This is indeed a crowd of orcs. Could I use Sasha on them? Uh, you, well, are they, hold on, let me double check the rules for Sasha. So, real quick, this is a, th that, it's, it's tied up, right? Yes, this is a crowd. The, this will, the, this can affect with Sasha. Because there's not just one group of them, there's two. One on top of the, uh, the waterfall as well. They seem to oh, creep from underneath the shadows. They're peering out of nowhere. So I could use Sasha and everyone would have a plus one forward against him? Uh, for Six one action, yes. Um, which group do you want? The one on the left or the one on the right? Uh, I'll do the one on the right. Okay, roll your Sasha Samba. That's a seven. All right, so what does that do mean? Do I still get a plus Sasha, from Sasha. the water? You get... Sasha gets a plus from the water, yes. You get one hold. So well, from that list, what do you want? Um... Well, it says I can only temporarily distract a hostile cat, a uh, hostile one. Distract a hostile one. Yes, they don't get to act. Like they, they get they get confused for a second, giving your your allies a, ch a chance to like reposition right, they, against they, that right group of elk. They try to uh, fight Sasha, and all their shit just yeah. goes through him. Yeah. All right. So do you want to do that? Yeah. Rook, I didn't hear your answer. Sorry. Uh, yes. Okay. So, um, Baldrick, thinking quickly, you take out your loot, you start pulling a tune. And a tango starts playing, and Sasha bounces to the rhythm of the 3-4, and it comes up, and it spreads itself all over. Its music bounces in sort of like ricochet, and it, it hits these, 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 oh, wait, that's not what I wanted. <laughs> One does not leave. Uh, the three of them seem confused, leading, leaving the party to move, and Wesley immediately spread, spring into action. But these three ones at the top were left. They take out their arrows, and there's blood and poison on them. They fire at Baldrick, they fire at Calgris. What do you guys do? Dodge. Uh, I will, um... Hmm, let me see. Morgan, you should move to a better position, like, not in the river. Mm -hmm. Like, not in the river. So that's my first thing. How long am I invisible for? Until you do, until you do something that damages or makes an action that, like, physically affects something. Yeah, it's so like, you're still invisible. So you make an attack, actually, is specifically oh, okay. Yes. Like you I can, will, uh, you can defend. Remember, because Calgris used defend. Uh, I'm gonna defend, actually. Yeah. At one point, right, and did come. not break invisibility. Ooh. So that means I can possibly get to this high ground up here. I'm gonna go. Yes, you can. Ground. Yeah. Yes, you can. I'm okay. going to do the opposite, and I want to go um, across the river and see that little crevice in the uh, uh, rock there. That's like a little cliff, right? Yes, it's a bit of a cliff. Yes. You can move here yourself. Yeah, um, I'm just gonna to zip. I'm, I'm actually just gonna put right. my back to this. Yes, you you can do that. All right, so let's resolve. Baldrick, these arrows fly past, but you notice is just for some reason after dodging so many arrows so many times, there's a rhythm to it. And you just duck your head left and right. You do a bit, a bit of a twist. You peer away. You ends with a nice chord, a nice little flourish, just to taunt them a little bit more in Congress. What are the three things you want from your con? Well, I'm going to... Well, actually, uh, so I'm going to try to figure out how to do this. I'm going to half the damage for sure. Yes, you have the damage. Um, I don't think I can need to redirect. Nope, you don't need to. They're, they're hitting you anyways. So I'm going to... Uh, can you make them I'm take damage? To... <laughs> That's what I'm trying to figure out. How have that have Boss do it. Have him... I mean, he's boss like right... He's already... Boss can do it. He's in the water. Yeah. Actually. Oh, you wanna you wanna redirect it? You wanna you wanna see if you can hit you hit them? No, no, no. I can. I'm, with part of the holder, they can take damage. They take damage from defense actions. Yes, you're right. Okay, you can totally do that. Okay. So I'm gonna do that, and then I'm gonna give a plus one forward since I don't need a redirect to yep. the next person attacking. I guess this group. Yes, or, the one on the on top of the cliff. Yeah. So yeah, I'm the gonna one on the left, the one on the right, the one on the left. Okay. And which one's the one that's distracted? The ones on the right are distracted. The ones on the left, Calgrist and Baldrick just uh, weathered blows from. Okay, Calgrist, you're about to take some damage. You take the best of these two. You take six damage, half that. That's three. Oh, so I take none? You okay. take none. So it actually hits your plate, and you aren't affected by the poison, because you take zero damage. Actually, I'll just shield it out of the way. That would make sense. Yeah, you shield it out of the way, and um, Voss splits himself into two, now there's two Voss, oh no, and no. spikes 
shunk from underneath the ground, clipping one of the assassins. Now roll your damage. It's your level. So what level are you right now? Um, let's see. I am level. F I believe I'm five. Yes, you get to roll merciless. And merciless. Uh -huh. Roll your one d four. Seven. That's seven all together. Okay, one of them immediately gets like eviscerated by thousands of black spikes coursing through its body. Oh, I can do that now. Great. <laughs> you can do that now. Great. All right. So, Morgan, you, what, what are you doing? You have a moment. The werewolf is currently bound right now. Oh, and I guess these guys are like fucking terrified at that. So, plus one forward, guys. Yes. Shoot them. Oh, if the werewolf is bound. The werewolf is not a problem. Do not attack it. Don't do that yet. I'll Do not do I that still yet. want to go up here, though. I don't yeah. think he's attacking the werewolf. No. Yeah. Calgris, do you take a minus one to all spell casting yes. while you're con maintaining this hold? Oh, I can't maintain the hold, actually. If I cast the spell, it ends immediately. So I actually don't. Oh, really? Okay. So it's, it's just yeah. stuck. So he's right not now. casting. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, I can't cast a spell. Yeah. Okay. You can't cast a spell. All right. Morgan, what do you do? You're invisible right now. I'm going up here. All right. What do you do? Pop, pop. Pop, pop, right? Shooting oh, yours. Plus totally. two. You got a plus two to that. Invisible and they're shooking. Yeah, the, and, and uh, they're, they're kind of helpless because they have no fucking clue where you are right now. So roll your oh. decks, my dude. Don't biff uh, it. Don't biff the damage. Don't roll one on damage. Don't, don't biff it. Don't biff it. You're biffing it. Man. You're you biffing it. it. You biffed it. Hold on. Right. Can, I, can I actually aid uh, Morgan? Because I was going to do something here anyway. Okay, how do you aid him? How do you want to um, aid him? Well, I was going to send in the wolf to attack, but before I was going to do that, I wanted to uh, try to use the staff to just directly channel more energy from the spring into the wolf. But I guess I'll roll All right, you can do here. that. Roll your bond. Roll your bond. I'll it's allow just... you to use your wolf to help right now by doing that. You channel the energy into your staff. It goes through, it wraps around the staff, and it, like, it's like this little light. Curious too, it's a tether of starlight going into the wolf and roll your bonds with morgan real quick oh five. no no that is a five you gotta fail the wolf climbs up the, the tether snaps and it it just it stalls stalls long enough for one of the assassins to take out a dagger and strike it and how much else does it have it only has one health right yeah yeah so now Morgan, go ahead and choose. You have volley. You got a seven, so or nine technically. Um, do you use ammo? Put yourself in position of risk. Uh, do you take what you can get? Position of risk. Position of uh, risk. Risky business, kid. All right. So you fire a few <laughs> arrows, but because of the mist of the water and the starlight emanating brightly, you're forced to move over here into position of risk. But you fire. So go ahead and roll your damage. And Iridan soars in. He's here. He's still here. Um, it, whoa, hey, that's not that's hey. pretty good. I didn't biff it there at least. You didn't. You did not. Biff Finally, it didn't there. roll more than two for damage. <laughs> All right, right. So it feels great. Plus one. Um, yeah, your 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 wolfie's gone. It's 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 removed from this plane of existence. Yep. Bye. So, um, Morgan, you actually kill this one, and then you quickly turn over and Iridan. As this, the other assassins um, slices through the ethereal wolf, it vanishes. But through the mist, Iridan swoops in its beak, gouging out one of its eyes. It's also dead. Nice. Acting badass. Kaka, motherfucker. Kaka. Kaka, motherfucker. Meanwhile, Baldrick, what are you doing? You notice Wesley. I'm right gonna up. do it goes to 11. All right, so roll it goes to 11. Roll your charisma. All right, so do you, you have to draw one attention to yourself, yeah? That's, that's pretty much it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So it, it's, its sensory effects are very limited. They're going to roll a 2d8 against themselves and see how much damage they deal to themselves. Wow. That's an 8. 8 reduced by their armor. Okay. So all right, they're at this health. All right. While they're distracted, Wesley comes up and takes out a rapier and stabs one right in the chest. Or does he? That depends. Yeah, wait a minute. Like, he just can do that? Because that's no, pretty no. great. <laughs> uh, well, I mean, I just got to double check something. Oh, okay. That's good to know. Oh, well, and he also is forced to take hit as well. Um, wait, hold on. When did I get a plus one forward? Since they haven't been touched. 
It's your first action. Do you get that from Sasha? Um, the Sasha, what, al what it allowed them was it was distracted so that they couldn't really do anything for the first part. You only got one hold, and you okay. spent it on distracting them, not their mm -hmm. plus one. Okay, okay. Uh, I'll have to ask about that later. Okay. Alright, so... Uh, while they're distracted, um, Wesley goes up and tries to stab, and he he he's gonna roll his... Do, 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 do. Oh, well, not not too great. Not too great. He's he's wet. He's tired. And they're gonna hit him. Right, and and the, and the blood and the, it, they slash him real good actually, and goes through a lot of his armor. But Tullison, you notice something. As the as the assassin takes out its dagger, coated with poison, hitting him for a brief second, you notice a ward of blue light stopping some of the brunt of the blow, as it shatters through it and hits him. But you do notice that. Mm, I know what that is. All right. Uh, I'm sure that's something. <laughs> it's, an sure that's... it's an arcane ward. Yes. All right. And he, you notice that he, there's a look of fatigue on his face right now. All right. These two, this assassin comes over. These two come up. They take out their enchanted arrows and they knock them and they aim them right at Baldric. What do you do? Hey, whenever they do that, I'm going to jump out. Dodge! I'm going to jump out to the side and just fucking stab one. They don't know he's here, so... They don't know you're there! You call from underneath, you climb up, and you take out your your, your stab, and go ahead, roll your ints. Alright! This is what happens. Plus whatever Logic. for whatever, I don't know. Alright. So, as you try and dodge out of the way, Baldrick, not only do you take the damage, it hits you right in your arm, and your mandolin drops into the water. Oh man. You, you're forced to drop it. All right, 2d6 plus... No, I know, it's 2d8. And but, tell, tell us, can you go ahead and roll your damage? Mooney, no. Mooney, yes. Mooney said two Voss tentacle emoji. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Talison's in the water, man. No. Yeah. All right. Uh, that's not damage I take. No, that is Talison's damage. Talison, you take uh, five damage reduced by your armor. Okay. You're also poisoned. Frick, well we, we can fix that later. Also, you guys are not invisible anymore. That just means I'm yeah. sick, right? Or shaky, or yeah, which you, one? You are the one that minus one to you, const, uh, to shaky. It's shaky, it's shaky. Yeah, yeah your hands okay. start to shake. Okay, <clears throat> that's what I thought. No, actually, wait. It's, it affects both your dex and con. This is a much more potent poison. A okay. much more potent oh, poison. Oh, they're serious. That's false, but I mean, that doesn't well, reduce. Does that re reduce my max HP or what? Uh, your con also, re yeah, it reduces slightly your Just click on the, um... How does it reduce? Oh, it didn't actually Dang. happen. It didn't reduce it. It wasn't enough to, I guess. It just means that you do minus one to all rolls to constitution. Sure. Yeah, I thought it was just a penalty. It's okay. just a penalty for your rolls. Okay. Well, I, I clicked box. it on. I clicked yeah, it on. Yeah, yeah. And, and Baldrick, you. you take... Nine damage reduced by your armor. <clears throat> and your hands start to go shaky, and your whole body just starts... You feel like throwing up right now. In fact, you get oh, like there's a bit, a bit in, your, in the back of your throat, like it's a very fast. If only had someone had a ranged launcher that could launch any toxin. So does that mean I'm <laughs> shaky right now? Quick, I'll you use my shot. You are both sickened, I think. You are both shaky and sick. All right. Um, I'll order Great Tower to uh, defend this this area. These these dudes over here, and I'm gonna bound across the waves into these folks. Alright, you bound across the waves into these folk. Baldrick, you notice your mandolin floating slowly down the river. Oh, I'm grabbing that shit. <laughs> yeah, you, you jump into the water and you try to grab that shit. And, um, Baldrick, I'm gonna need you to make... No, I, I can't actually tell you to do that. But, um, Baldrick, you climb into the water and you notice his werewolf, his eyes start to flicker red once again. It starts to shake and bound and his claws, it's right, really, it's screeching and roaring, its arms trying to break through Colgress's hold. Uh, it looks like it's about to, hit, like, break, fr break free Colgress. What do you do? And what does Baldrick do? I mean, I hold, my hold, he's hold person. Yeah, he is, he is whole Stop person. Stop it. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> now, Baldrick, do you still want to grab the, uh, the mandolin under, through the legs of this giant werebear, werewolf thing happening right now? Can I, like, go around and, and get wait it for it to downstream? Like, <laughs> <laughs> he said, run down. 
I mean, I'm not gonna reach through the fucking monster to get it. I'm gonna run there and just try to get All it right. from there. So, it just takes uh, longer. Okay. It just does take longer. Callgrest, what do you do? Oh, hack and slash. Hack and slash, alright. I'm gonna aid since I'm right here. All right. Don't. Don't do it. Don't. Oh. Stop. Don't. Stop. Stop <laughs> just doing don't worry it. about it. Don't worry about it. Stop it. Let me help you. Alright. Callgrest, roll your damage. Oh, yeah, man. No problem. Jesus Christ, dude. Oh, yeah, man. No problem. <laughs> yeah, man. No problem. <laughs> roll your merciless. Merciless? Yeah, man. No problem. 13 damage. <laughs> Holy shit. Alright. Um, okay. So. You just completely jump these, out of the wall. I grab these two and just, like, smash their noggins together in Hold a on. gory, nasty mess. Hold on. Eh. Eh. There we go. Gotta <laughs> turn them. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's correct. Thank you. It's very important. They're down, they're down on the ground, and uh, Wesley is currently dueling this one, uh, one orc over here. Morgan, you have a clear shot. Absolutely. Can I take that clear shot? Thunk. Man, I'm glad you didn't melee is not a thing. Oh, thank God. Precious, uh, precise shot. Real glad. Right. Real glad things aren't shooting into the melee here. Alright, so, uh, take what you can get, use up one arrow, or move into a position of risk. Position of risk. Alright. You jump down and you, you soar into the air as you knock an arrow, flying in the air. Like, while you're falling, you notice you're feeling as if the starlight comes from underneath the water, lifting you, your gracious landing, as you land somewhere over here, it's a pretty far jump, but it, it looks like you're kind of like floating down, and you let loose and roll the damage, and you kill it, right in the eyes. Right between the eyes. Right between the eyes. As Morgan herself looks very surprised as to how she got here. Yeah, she's like, wait a second, I'm not wet. <laughs> and with that, it stops. And the werewolf, it bangs, it hits, it's trying its very hardest to break through whole nope, person. No, 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 no. Callgris is a um, Voss who, 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 who um, the second Voss who is up there on, on top of the hill, comes back down and wraps, and his whole body and being wraps around, um, uh, wraps around the entirety of uh, the werewolf. And oh, Voss, his head kind of appears, uh, Voss, that's his head terrifying. appears from behind the head and says, hmm, I feel like this is a little bit unnecessary, but. Here you go! And he's just like holding him tight. Cut the hair. Cut cut the hair. Cut the boss. <laughs> and he just and he a little hand appears and like his two fingers become scissors. He snips it. Oh my god, that's awesome. <laughs> Maybe we should uh All right, I gotta to touch. help with the poison. What, what do you want me to do? Baldrick! I have one. a potion! I mean, you have a it you have a fucking so launcher. You can just knock him out from o from over there. Just yeah. You have antitoxin. How much antitoxin do you guys have? Six. Six out of six. Six. Okay, you guys can use two. And uh, you notice Wesley actually his hand shaking. He 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 goes into his satchel and picks out his own and he injects it into himself. That's okay, sure, he's good. So you're gonna hit Talison and I. Yeah, you, you both at this point you don't really need to do it at range. You just administer it. <laughs> Right? And both of you are no really longer cool poisoned. And right. I don't know, Morgan might just do it at range just because I'm Baldrick. <laughs> Morgan, do you do it at range or do you, do you like shoot it with your hands or do you like uh, administer it personally? Administer. Well. <laughs> yeah, sure, why not? Yeah, administer. Thank you, Morgan. You're too kind. And Harold sheaths his sword and Lyle is like passed it on the ground as his his wound is like it seems to be spreading a little bit and the werewolf his eyes flicker red once more but it's being held back and the hair um uh the best way I can describe Voss right now is you know um that the villain from Samurai Jack mm -hmm. he moves very much like that oh yeah um uh, well okay I got the uh the tuft of hair in my yes. pocket here could mm -hmm. could I like just just, just fix this up. I, I did you bring some supplies. To... Yeah. I mean, as, long yeah. As, I don't, as long as I don't go away from this, this I can make yeah. it well, no problem. Right. Can I cure and... Lyle? Yeah, you can. You can cure Lyle. Uh, and um, Wesley comes over. He takes it his own alchemic supplies, and between the both of you, he, he helps you out, and you're able to create a potion. And with the water, the starlight seems to like the flakes of starlight kind of swirl and it glows, 
And what do you do? You just like give it to you have she um the the werewolf has to ingest it. Yeah, yeah I, I shake I shake it up actually. real good, like put my thumb over the top, <laughs> and I tell tell Voss huh? to to get her mouth open. <laughs> Voss, his, his little uh, Voss, his hands kind of appear from the shadows from his chat uh, from the uh, from the bind. Says, open wide good. and opens oh, opens the mouth of uh, the werewolf. Good, good. My fucking thing's a tentacle monster now. Great. <laughs> All right, and I just kind of um, go over there and like gingerly pour it down the throat. All right, and the screeching in its eyes go red, um, from red to black, and then black to 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 brilliant emerald green, and its form changes. It becomes smaller, smaller, smaller. Whole person. I mean, like it, it's still a whole person. It's still it's still there. And so while they're doing that, I'm gonna. Attempt to speak with the dead. What? Yeah. What? <laughs> Whoa. I have that. Wow, she's yeah. massive. Yeah, that's a level one spell, man. I can do that too. Shit, you can do that. Well, Morgan, go ahead and cast wisdom, please. Ah, uh, yeah. I mean, yeah, not that these guys are gonna be willing to talk, but I mean, it's better than they nothing. They don't have to be. They don't have. To. They don't have to be willing. Oh. Willing or not, I'm asking. Willing or not, she can do it. <laughs> nice. All I'm right. Gonna pull this thing soul up. So like, all right, listen, listen up. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go pick up the lady so that she doesn't like drown in the river. Yeah, I mean, she's just... suspended. It's fine. Yeah, no, I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna go. Do we need to put like a robe over her or something? She's, she's completely naked right now. Yeah, just cover uh, her with Voss. It's fine. Cover her with, her with Voss. Oh my god. No, no, God, no. I have like extra cloths and oh, stuff. Oh no. Like, <laughs> cover her listen, with Voss. I cover Lyle's eyes as well as mine. <laughs> it's starting to get chilly, guys. I'm dressed in layers anyway. Don't worry. I got it. I got you covered. All right. So you you bring her off to this um, and you like take off your overcoat and you put them on her. And uh, she is fast asleep right now. Right. So, um, Wesley, who's over here, looks in surprise at Morgan. But, uh, Morgan, when you start to cast a spell, your your tattoo glows again. Just, it just worked out, guys. Just We're just going to keep calm. We're going to keep calm and carry on. And uh, no. you, um, the light, it, it looks like... Um, light shines on their body like a spotlight that appears from just above you guys from the trees and the soul of this assassin comes out it's wretched it's green and red and black and it's, it's mist just seems so unnatural and so foreign to this place and world and it's like, and the noises as it comes out and it just its head creaks and it seems forced here by, by this this spiritual power as um light kind of like wraps around its body and it looks, looks at you and hisses at you in Orcish. By the way, Talison, yeah. before you left, um, Drugar and Draktar actually taught you some Orcish. You can understand Orcish now. Oh, gotcha. Okay, well, I'm going to finish getting her wrapped up and set up on the bank, and I'll rush on back over. As I've realized that, oh, right, Orcish. <laughs> Morgan, we have way too much in common. <laughs> and, uh... uh and uh, right, it starts saying? to hiss and, and growl, and it's it's just for, it's for, it's just talking to Morgan at this point because that's all it sees. And um, it goes on and drones on for about a good five minutes about how it's gonna scum like um the whole the the uh, Juvogo clan. Let me tap that down for you guys. Please do. Oh, well, there goes that one question. I already know who they answer, like who they answer to. So there's that. Uh, and so it's gonna scalp you and eat your ears and 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 and, and drink your brain through your socket. It's, it's very graphic. It's very fucking like Urukai. Yeah, and uh, Tally Sin is just like drone. Like it's funny to hear because like you hear like the growl and the snarls of the of the, this dead orc, and then Talos is just reciting it like high elf high elven some accent. It's kind of hilarious. But anyways, uh, how does the spell work? Speak to the dead. Um, I get to ask three him. questions. It answers questions. to the best of its ability. Okay, so it's already spewed out a little bit because of um narrative reasons, but it's, it's mad. Yes, man. Uh, what 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 do you uh, what ask? What do you ask? Um, what questions does like does the party wanted to ask? Because I was going to ask who like who would uh, like who their clan was, but I we kind of already had that. I'm I'm just gonna straight up ask him. All right, like have they found the the gate yet? The gate is well protected by the. Stupid druid girl, and like it, it, it's fighting itself not to, to, to reveal anything. The magic has started to take effect. 
she's starting to wake. She wakes soon, then we will eat her for breakfast. And um, it says, Lovely. but first, the town must be killed. The elven town shall be raised so that we may take the spear and open the gate ourselves. Where's the spear? No, the no, no. We do. Well, first of all, hold on. Oh. Before we burn any of our questions, the orc can't understand Melty, right? Or can Melty still oh, ask yeah. questions? Or Morgan, uh, excuse me. Well, it's, it's implied that um, it, it, it transcends language. Melt, it can understand okay. what Melty's asking, but like it still speaks in Orcish. I mean, I think I know where the spear is. I think the spear is in town. Before you ask that question, yeah. So go pretty on. sure, pretty sure That's the that. druid in town has that. I can, I can almost guarantee you that she's holding on to that. But they said Elven Town. That was yeah, but they said town. Elven Town. That's no, oh, Elven, Elven Town. Oh, it's Elven a different town. town. Oh, well, he still yeah, said Elven else. Town. I mean, that's yeah. probably the the other one. We just haven't been there yet. Silver leaf will burn in flames. Oh, there you go. It says. So what else do you guys ask? We could also ask it where they're, where his people are. Or how many? Or how many? Or how many? How many is pretty good. Do you want me to ask that? You can ask that. I'm asking uh, Morgan. Yeah. Uh, how many? Yeah. Uh, yeah. How many sounds good? It's a hell many, and and it, and it grins and it cackles and there's hundreds, thousands of us waiting, sleeping under the ground, waiting for the veil to be broken so oh. we can come out and kill all of them. Oh, we will feast, and then he goes on. He's talking about a veil. That doesn't help, but that is technically a truthful answer. Uh, yeah, no, I just relate it. He's, he's not telling me how many they have, but there are a lot apparently sealed. Uh, sleeping. 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 Best of its knowledge, yeah. Uh, so, ticking clock. Question. Ticking clock started, guys. Ticking clock? Ticking clock. Hasn't it always been since we left on this so, journey? Oh, yeah, I thought we were that fuck. But I can see it now, and I really preferred not being able to. Well, I can <laughs> sympathize with that. <laughs> uh, don't you just hate it when you can see the other uh, time limit? Mm. <laughs> Anxiety. <laughs> so, we don't uh, so we have one more. How many? Not exactly. They they did say something that a lie. That, that kind of, that was kind of interesting, like that they're that they're waiting behind the veil. Now that's either Could it be referring to whatever this is? Yeah, it could be referring to whatever that is or Or whatever the druid's doing. Yeah, whatever the druid's yeah, doing. Yeah, it's they're either behind the door or they're being tr like trapped in sleep by the druid with the druid sleeping. You want me to ask what the veil is? Mm, no, no, it wouldn't know. I doubt it. I doubt this thing would know. Or really give us any more information than that. Like, it doesn't matter which of those it is, they're going to be in the same place. Do we know wherever they're, whoever leads this group? I mean, these guys obviously aren't asleep if that's, if we can go off, pause it off that theory. Oh, uh, so. hey, yeah. Where, where are you? Can we find leader? out where the leader is? Yeah, where's, leader where's is? your leader based? Where's, where's your camp? Zuvogo? Yeah, where's no, your Juvago camp? is the uh, Juvago is the, the is the is the name of the clan. Yeah, you know, where where's your like where's your base camp? Base or, camp, I, I guess. Oh. So like, where's your where's your camp? Specifically, you're asking where is the camp, and it, it says the camp for all of us. Where? Sorry, let me just double check the name so I don't say it wrong. Where Kalga leads us. He the camp. We'll have a new camp soon. Silverleaf is our camp now. It says. Oh, they're about to attack Silverleaf, so. No oh, shit. Well, this is convenient. Is is it? I, I turned to look at Calgrass. Is it? <laughs> <laughs> well, it answers the question of if uh, <laughs> our jobs have been uh, kind of commingled. I mean, we're getting paid to do what we were already going to do anyway. It's snarls, and I think that's the last question, right? Yeah, that's the last question. And it rises and it screeches, and its arms reach out, and the light from inside of it goes like it, it just disappears. 
into dust. As its soul is question mark, but the rest rest question mark. Not sure. Where do works go in the dark? They hmm. left tracks, right? Uh oh, actually that's a good question. At, well, I mean we could try to follow them, yeah. I wanna hmm. find those. Yes. I wanna hunt, I wanna hunt track. Uh, go ahead you and Calgris do that. Baldric and I will will uh tend to the wounded here. That'll be fine. And we will do that after the break. So wow. let's take a take a quick uh five minute break. Relax for a second. Alright, I am are we ready to get going now? I am. Yeah, I am. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. So uh, a few minutes, uh, a few moments pass, and we we come back to the rest of the party, and you notice and you hear something unsettling. Something feels off. We should go. Uh, Milandis and Lyle, who both come to at the same time, wake up, and Milandis says, "Where, where, where am I?" Uh, hello. And she opens her eyes and sees Baldric uh, over top of her, as well as don't say it uh, like that. There's got to be yeah, there's, there's got to be a better way to say. No, no, say it like that. <laughs> Baldrick tending to, to her wounds with Taliesin there, and Harold there as well, and she panics. She she looks around, she, her eyes start back and forth looking for a weapon. Her hand sticks out, and then Lala says, wait, 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 Milandis, relax. You're among friends. She looks and says, what happened? All I remember is... And she kind of looks at herself and inspects her hands, um, holding the, the robe close to her chest, and there's no fur. Is it gone? Did the wolfsbane work? She looks around, looking for questions. Well, considering you're not a werewolf anymore, I'd go with yes. You'll probably still be howling at the moon for the next couple of months, but the uh, the teeth and claws shouldn't come back. And she looks away. No, and she panics a little bit. That was a joke. No, it wasn't. <laughs> uh, hopefully. <laughs> All right, and she 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 rubs her eyes like, wait, no, I remember now. The village, they're attacked. We need to go this way. And whoa, whoa, she stands hold on. Up. No, no, she doesn't. <laughs> she she starts to stand up and realize she's nude. I also like I I am not letting her stand. I uh, avert my eyes and I cover Lyle's eyes. Lyle just like swats her hands away. We're, we're lovers. Get away. He's a, and it is not. unbecoming to see your <laughs> potential fiance naked before the wedding night. Baldrick, get over it. Uh, Baldrick, what are you talking about? I shot from across the stream. Okay, also, you guys are being, also, you guys what? are being loud. Alright, uh, Milandis uh, says, a map. Do you have a map anywhere? Uh, I mean, yeah, we have a map, don't we? It's not like. Right, you, you, she hands her map, map and she says, um, uh, you give her a map, and she draws the path down the stream to the left, and, uh, she, she says here, um, Lost, I need to warn the town if there's orcs. I have to go. Um, are you sure? Because, I, I mean, fine. you just came out of, like, a pretty bad situation there. Are you even, like, really able to stand right now? He looks <laughs> to be all right at the moment. But uh, he seems very nervous, knowing that there are orcs in the thing, uh, orcs in the in the silver forest. In the thing, and in the thing, yes. Which is why we should stick together. <sighs> and uh, Wesley comes over, and um, he goes and he looks and sees there's a uh, a naked elf, and he just kind of looks to Baldric. And he kind of like waggles his eyebrows a little bit. Oh my no, God, you Wesley. do not start. I am to. not staring at the naked elf. I am averting my eyes like a gentleman. And, and, and it does like a very a boisterous laugh, but not a lot of sound comes out. And uh, and continues writing his book. Listen, if you're gonna be running off, then at least let me do this. What do you do? I cast invisibility. Oh, oh on the both of them. Uh, I take a minus one to this, actually, so no, I can't. Oh, yeah, you can't do that. You're right. You did that, didn't you? 
Not until I get a short rest, unless this is counted for a short rest. Uh, until you prepare your spells, this does not give you time to oh, prepare, prepare your spells. spells. No, then no. No, no. There's just six invisibility on her. And, and um, she's, she poofs out of existence. <sighs> Was that wise? No, well, you can see where her body is right now because she's still holding the robe. Like, she's like a floating robe right now. Wait a minute. I have some questions about invisibility and how that works later, but okay. It's because that's mine, and I take my uh, overcoat back. <laughs> you take your overcoat back, <laughs> and like you just you just see like her foot nervously stepping around in, in in the mud, and you see you still hear her voice. What happens now? I need to go back to the village. Well, she is right, in no I, state to fight right now. No, no, I understand that I wasn't going to convince you not to do that, but just don't you know mm. get yourself killed mm -hmm. by the way. We'll, we'll all go. How about? Uh, here. Hold on. Lyle, where, where was this place that she marked on her map? It's just down the road. Well, it's down, the village, really, Alex. It's the Silverleaf Village that she that she marked. Oh, I thought she was telling us to go somewhere else. That's that's nope. what I got from that. Just tell them to go to Silverleaf. She she explains that um, when after she was done and her enchantment was not clear, um, she wanted to go back home. Maybe that the village elder was able to help her. Um, maybe find the cure. Not otherwise, Lyle and her could do. Um, she, she, all she remembers is feeling this un, untethered rage and wanting to kill the person she was closest with, uh, Lyle. And she went back home. But when she went back home, uh, there was already it was already under attack. Oh well, shit! I completely mis misread the situation then. Um, and, I'm gonna let uh, her keep the overcoat then. Actually, okay, we're you're gonna, gonna go keep the overcoat. We're gonna go with her. I still do the invisibility thing though. You still do the invisibility thing. Why not? And uh, Lyle says, I'll, I'll stay next to her and I'll protect her. And Harold goes, well, first, orc assassins, orc ninjas, and now we're going to go sell in Elven Town. Man, you guys really know how to have a great time. We'll pay you. Glad oh, you're with us, buddy. You better. I, I'm, uh, you better. <laughs> he just kind of raises his arms up. <laughs> you haven't had to do anything yet. Yeah, wait a minute, Harold. <laughs> She's just saying, right? Uh, but anyways, are we going to move in that direction now? Yeah. Sounds like we don't have time to waste. Yeah. All right. With your horses, you're able to cut time down, and 20 minutes, 15 minutes passed, and you find yourself here. I cast magic orcas. weapons. Oh. oh. There's orcas. Dear. I cast a magic weapon. Uh, did we have time to, like, heal our wounds on the way? No. Yes. Oh, what I mean, when, uh, you, like, while you're riding on the horse, you can apply herbs and poultices. Oh, yeah. I, like have, I have some bandages. Well, no, bandage, bandages health. actually do take time, actually. Never mind. They're explicitly, right. like, you have to... Um, Wesley actually walks up and offers um, herbs and poultices and will help you recover seven health. Do you okay. accept it? Yes. No, so while you are uh, mounting up, he walks over and uh, he takes a look at the arrow, um, arrow wounds. Uh, he pours some alcohol on it. It stings and takes some herbs and poultices and rubs into it, wraps a bandage around it, and writes down, excuse me, this is only temporary. When we get back to town, I'll look at it more. I thank him. Okay, so you recover seven health. Does anyone else use any of the other stuff? You have time before you get to this, but you're not able to rest and re restore your spells. I don't need seven them. points of healing to save it for, for later. Yeah. What wounds? All right. What, All yeah, right. exactly. What wounds? One second. Let me just bring over. Hey, Alex, could you do me a favor and turn my token yeah. into a drawing? You know how to do that? What? Like, I right click it. That. Right click right. and it is drawing. Yeah, ad advanced options is drawing. That'll just stop the little bubbles thing from popping up when I click on it. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, that mean, thank that you. means I don't have to okay. worry about clicking off of it every time. All right, thanks. I like the bubble, so I'm okay with it. All right, so oh, you come and there's sounds of battle already. Smoke and flame appear, and you bust in through. Um, Color starts to be knocked on the front door. Yeah, I knock on the front door with my foot. And you, and it kicks open, and you notice something. You notice humans, cowled, wearing masks, and the masks look like Shigara's face. Shigara. Oh, the right. Or God. <laughs> Poor God. All right. It's big red. Oh, they. Oh, they get to die. The um, you notice the uh, this family over here, 
The man sticks out his hand and black magic seems to erupt from its palm and seep into this family. Yes, they all melt together. Oof. Yes, because they're dead because they're X-Mars. Mm. And what appears a giant werewolf crawls out from the, the husks of their body no. and growls. What does the party do? That's extremely Magical upsetting. Weapons. I'm gonna arcane art on um Palgrest. I'm gonna or... try casting summon monster. Oh, hey. oh no. Okay. I uh, don't Balls. do that. Alright, this is oh, my next no. one. Oh, but, oh, but sweet, I do have arcane art. Okay. Yeah, you'll get, uh, what is it, plus 2d4? Yeah, you get 2d4 damage and plus 1 if anyone helps you. Oh my god, that's like magic weapons, so good. Alright, so you're buffed at the moment. Can you remove that for me when you're done hitting something? It's easier for me to remember. Something. Yes, I so can. I sure can do that. All right, let me give you the lay of the land real quick. The Elven Town has broken in. You hear the sounds of battle in the distance. the The din is in full effect. Um, to your left and to the south, you notice a man. He seems to be well dressed and well armored, fending off against the werewolf. While this man behind it sticks out his hand as a black magic seems to go through and seep into the werewolf's back. This one over here does the same thing with this one, and this one seems to hold something, a horn, in its hands. You don't know what it does yet, but that's the layout of the land. The werewolf crawls up. Colgress, you decide to cast magic weapon on yourself, but then there's a sharp sting, Voss. You, his voice becomes misty. Something else is controlling the space of magic around here. And all you hear in the back of your mind says, Shit, our connection is weak. And it, it, his voice phases out. You won't be able to cast spells for a little bit because of it. And uh, you just... Oh, man. And okay. it just seems to just he, he, Voss's presence seems to it's still there, but like for for once it just seems to be gone, and it feels very strange right now. Something's pulling into your heart, and and, and Talison, you wanted to summon monster, right? Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. <laughs> did you did you both mark experience? Yes. All right. As you start to um, cast and summon monster, the magic starts to just it reverberates, but again something knocks you back, as if again the magic underlying something is very wrong and as the creature starts to come out it shatters and breaks and you are no longer able to cast that spell it just it just visibly disappears from your book okay. i mean you'll be able to get it back later but like for now you can cast it during this battle all right talison uh i'm, I'm, I'm gonna stand in defense now all right i'm gonna take um my staff out and yes. I'm going to try to project. I mean, it's, it's all still powered up, right? It's still powered up right now, yeah. Yeah, I'm going to project magic missiles out of it. And I'm going to uh, attack the guy channeling into the werewolf in front of us. All right, so this one over here? Mm hmm. All right, go ahead. Oh, no, that's not the right thing. Here it is. Oh, so wait, these, are these walls that we can see? Are they, like, are they still up? No, uh, they're, 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 some of them are up, yes, but you, you knocked on their front door. Okay, yeah. Hey, All if right, somebody can aid me, I could actually No, do, no, you got a plus one from thing. your staff. You got oh, a plus one from your okay. staff, because it's, it's buffed by Starlight, but then you notice a lot of its magic starts to fade away right now. Right, You have, like, two charges left. Two yeah, charges yeah. of magic left. Um, plus and one well, on. in that case, I'm going to attract them one of the attention to uh, maximize the spell. So he takes eight All damage. Right. Oh, okay. So, Calgrist, you roll in defense. You roll defense, right? Yes, I rolled a nine. So this so... mm -hmm. red-eyed and, 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 and screeching at roars and a thumps, thumps, and his hand crumbs, uh, comes over and, and gashes at you. Roll in, you roll, and you only get to hold, get one hold, right? Unless someone yeah. wants to aid him. Who wants to aid Calgrist right now? He might succeed. Oh, okay. I can aid okay. with that. Baldrick, oh, I think Baldrick. Oh. Um, let Morgan do it. Okay, Morgan, you step up. You get a plus one also. Oh, yes, you're right. To whoever uh... aids. So roll your bond plus one. Plus hey, three. nice. That's plus three. That's that's two d six plus three. Yeah, we actually do have a bond now. <clears throat> oh, nice. All right, Colgrist. That line. Yeah, um, you stand in defense, right? But um, the 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 the, the werewolf comes up and it sees a weakness and it goes for that one opening but then morgan takes out her daggers and gashes at the knuckle causing him to lose balance and you're able to defend from his other strike from his other arm because you've trained so much together the last couple months you know how each other fight and you're able to complement each other when this happens oh my god i'm gonna counter this thing so hard <laughs> call rest what are your three actions so i'm halving uh taking a forward uh -huh. to uh this guy actually 
Okay. Right here. Right. And I'm going to damage. Okay, you uh, you were going to damage, so you first half the damage, right? It's gonna hit you. It yep. actually does it quite a bit of damage. It has a pierce of two. Well, <laughs> it doesn't even get past your armor. Like <laughs> you just block it from your shield, and what do you do? You redirect da damage. Uh, I don't redirect. I give a forward, and then I'm going to hurt him really right, badly. So, I don't need to redirect because he's hitting me. Yeah, you're right. I'm talking about you're gonna redirect the damage. So roll your damage. Remember, we get a plus. How, how many? How much was it again? I roll three d fours. Wait, no. I'm sorry. Did you give me two d eight? Two d four. Two d four. So one d four from Merciless. Two d four from from Baldrick's buff. Plus your level, right? Plus your level. Oh Jesus! My God. <laughs> oh boy! You fucking killed this guy in one hit. Yeah, um, so I knock the thing's gut out, and then I spew it back into this guy. The this classic killer, that Call Breath Counter. into him. Call, call a <laughs> fucking full counter the shit out of this dude, man. Jesus, combo breaker much. I don't and need just, boss. <laughs> you don't need boss. <laughs> and he flings need. over, and he, and like his body crashes into the building, and uh, his the souls of the family go back into the body that was deceased and they're laid to rest. But and this man over here, he he looks shocked, shaken. He looks like he draws a sword, but then all of a sudden, hey, seven no, well no, because seven different magic missiles eviscerate him from the inside out. You ain't you out. Yeah, you, you got behind. It. Yeah. And, and Taliesin, um, your hand's still smoking from blue energy. Just look at Calgrist. <laughs> Did you guys share a look for a moment there? I did it. We all did it. This one is dead. This one over here. All right, press him. We don't have any time to lose. Yep. Right? Do you guys move in? Yeah. What do you guys do now? Yeah, I move in. Can I, uh, I uh, down into, there again? Into these guys, like, hey, assholes. Right. Back has um, to go to eleven on this guy. You made He's this. Uh, made this to do that. All right. Um, before you do that, Wesley comes over and uh, taps Morgan on the shoulder. Um. And this time, what you notice is he's no longer taking out his book. He says the words, but the words appear out of his mouth like neon lights. And he says, I will go north. Push forward. That's what it says. You see that. Taken aback, slightly confused. She's just going, merely going to nod. Right? And you notice something else. Wesley, his eyes close. They open in a flash of blue. And now there are two of them as a mirror image of himself appears next to him. And he goes off. Yeah, he's a goddamn wizard. I knew it. He's he's not a wizard. The multi-class is a thing. So, well, multi-class wizard, exactly. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> multi-class so, wizard. Right, and uh, he runs off, and with a mirror image. What's happening uh, over here, though? All right, now it goes to, it goes to eleven. It goes to eleven. Cast it. All right. That's why so, I haven't done anything yet. Yes, you're right. This is what happens. I can assist. Uh. Do you, that. You can go, go ahead. You assist Morgan. Irritant Screechia's performance once again saves the day. Oh, oh god, no, please. Hip. Roll your bond with Baldrick. Uh, it should be a plus three unless there's another bonus on there. Uh, I think the bonus is gone from before. Bonus should be on anything. That was just <laughs> for me for hating me. Yeah, just for him. So it's just a plus two. Uh, I thought we hit Did three he's... for our bond. Oh god, no. Two. That's no, the three, the, three. the three was a bonus. The three was a bonus from uh, Baldrick. Well, you get got it anyways, Time. and... It doesn't matter. All right. Baldrick, you notice, as you start to play, this man over here takes out his horn and blows it. And both your magics slap against each other for a little bit. And Calgris, you're kind of weak at the knees a little bit. The music that came from Baldrick goes into the horn and bounces back to you. Calgris, this is feeling of un... Tether Grage against Harold. You're about to go punch him in the face. But then Morgan, thinking quickly, knocks Nero, fires the horn out of his hand. His hand. And uh, this one over here goes berserk a little bit. He, he doesn't know what's left and right. Takes out a dagger and stabs his friend. Dude, if they can do that ghost 11 thing on me, to you guys, we're dead. Yeah. Ooh. Bards are bad. We already fought against bards, actually, if you remember. Shoot bards. Shoot we fought bards. against bards. They were given big bonuses, and it was really bad. All right, there's four damage to his friend. They also right? stopped. And uh... this guy wavers. And you draw unwanted attention to yourself, uh, Baldrick, as this werewolf notices that and 
charges. Hey, wait a minute. Hey, I'm gonna hey, cast magic missile at that werewolf. <laughs> not not with the staff though. I just I just wanna you cast it right I'm gonna, there. I'm gonna catch him. Uh, you can, but you're gonna have to move through these two guys over here. See if you can. Um, they, they quickly wrap around, yeah. flanking you oh. both sides. Hey, oh, well, somebody, I somebody aid me. I need a plus one to not fail. Never mind. I'm gonna just punch these guys. All right. So before we do that, meanwhile, Talison, um, the werewolves start running over and crawling over. His hands bearing and looking like he's about to gash into to Bulgic. Uh, Great Talison, tower. Here, Great Tower, do something. Great Tower. What do you want him to do? Do you want him to defend or do you want him to attack? Have him defend Baldric and uh, Morgan. You hey, give me a hand here with the magic missile stuff. I need a hand. Okay. All right. I don't know Morgan, what you, you can do to aid, but uh, you'll think of something. Oh, Morgan's blue blue tattoo starts to glow. Morgan can cast magic now. Yeah. yeah. Oh. All right, and that's Talon, right. Roll your bond with Talia and Morgan, and Harold is going to Harry here the Stark. That that succeeds. Uh, okay, so then yeah, that's just a regular ass magic missile. This guy needs an X because he's super dead. And I one, guess one I just didn't attract them one's attention. Oh yeah, absolutely. All right. Five damage. Five damage against the werewolf. It lowers and Morgan. Uh, that's an assist. And then all right, Harold now has to defend. Let me just double check one thing real quick. Okay. He is able to defend. He redirects the attack to himself. The wolf coming up and gashing him across the chest. Uh, wait, no, it's 1d10. Alright. Go. And hits Harold for 6 damage reduced by his armor. Alright. He is brunted off to the side, but he was able to stand in defense of Baldric. Alright, what happens now? Colgrist, you're, you're kind of flanked by two... Um, Coded men. What do you Action do? Slash. All right, roll it. All right, so roll your damage. Oh no, that's strength again. I'm sorry. <laughs> Six damage for Flister Merciless. All right, you're able to kill one of them. The other one barely is standing away. He falls on his ass as he barely ducks it in your swing. He starts to run away. I'll resolve that in a second. Um, Harold coughs up blood, um, trying to hold back against the pressure against this werewolf. Morgan, um, Ultra, what are you doing? It. I'm gonna stab it. All right, Ultra, what about you? I'm gonna arcane arts, uh, Morgan. All right, roll roll your arcane arts, Baldrick. Damn. All right. <laughs> what what are you gonna give him? Uh. Plus 2d4 and plus to forward. To aid? Plus one, yeah. All right. Actually, it's plus two now, I think. Okay, so plus two to aid and uh, plus 2d4. So, Morgan, you are buffed. Nice. All right. Nice. Uh, well, he, uh, Morgan rolls a nine. To, uh, who helps him? Her, sorry. Am I capable of helping, even though I'm being. You're playing so. right now. I mean, you're, I'm still, still firing more magic missiles, so I say that counts. All right, so you can roll your bond with Morgan. All right, that's a success. That's a plus two, Morgan. Ooh. Hey. All right, so, so you get ten. You stab him. So first damage. Yes. You're better at stabbing things. Yeah. You are shooting things. And then Iridan does it's the one. Same damage. Uh, Morgan, you duck underneath, underneath the blow, uh, you bounce off of Harold's shield, you jump up, you take out your dagger, and you fucking kill this dude. I mean, on average. Isn't the other werewolf dead as well? Yeah, the yeah, other werewolf dead. is also dead. He's, he's gonna get him, yeah. Get them out of the way. And you continue to push through. <clears throat> hey, good right. job. You can, just, you can also just move them onto the map. Uh, also remove your buff. That also uh, is a no, good way to no, like, um, Morgan still has everybody. a plus two to aid. Plus two oh, to aid, okay. whoever aids Morgan next. Right? I thought that was what happened with Talison. Yeah. Oh, you're Thompson. right. Yeah. That did happen with Talison. I just didn't you need it. Correct. I didn't, I didn't even yeah. mark it. All right. This man comes out. The family stays underneath. He, um, one second. Uh, I have his name here. He's got bow. He, he does indeed. Use got bow. Him. Yeah, he's, he's, he, he, he's going to fire at this guy and kits him and, and kills him. Nice. Oof. Right? Good. Uh, he's trying to find his name, sorry. Uh, how many more werewolves are there? 
right? So you notice these warriors are coming in, and you see at the far, far northeast side, thunk, thunk, like a giant axe breaking through the window. And uh, uh, the man comes up and, and, and in a haste says, my name is Rillinath Outsiders. Protect this town. Go, protect her. And she point and uh, Calgrist points, or not Calgrist, Rillinath points over. And through all of this, Calgrist, you see an elderly lady as two archers on the side, like shooting out arrows, um, trying to help, you know, the townsfolk. You see a, a glimmer of a spear being held in her hands. Uh, oh, that's the spear. The spear. That's the spear. All right. Hey, and it says, I'll take this guy. You guys handled them. I Actually, Calgrist, could you take care of that werewolf in the north? That might be someone we don't have to kill, maybe. Oh wait, you can't cast spells, motherfucker. Well, I guess that person's dead. Okay, well let's just deal with the objective then. What person? What did we? Or were you the person who was turned it? into a werewolf? Like those? Those uh, are people. I don't know if they're already dead or not, though. Or they, were they already? Well, well, we turned one werewolf back. We could turn back others, but not unless they were restrained. And well, <laughs> yeah, our we easy restraining option is gone. We at least saw one werewolf get up from. You know, we we literally dead. saw three people turn into a werewolf. Like I could undo that yeah. if I if yeah. I have the time, but. Uh, what do you do? What? I don't have the time. What can you do? What can you do for it? I'm going after this guy. Hey, asshole. Our are too fucking broke up about it. Charges. So while that happens, Raylan says, "All right, carve a path through. I'm going to rally the northern troops and push on that front. Take care of the south. Can I trust you?" He looks dead in the eyes of Calgrest. I nod. Right? And he closes his eyes. He says, All right. And swallowing his pride, he runs through, shooting a few arrows, helping you um, go up. And Baldrick, you're able to buff Calgrest. Your music starts to uh, thrum the, the chance of battle. And Sasha waves and, and, and enters Calgrest's body for a moment. What buffs do you give him? Uh, the 2d4 damage and, and plus 2 to anyone who hates him. All right. So, Calgrest, you run up. I'm leaping into this man's arms. <laughs> this one here? All right. So this one. Uh, okay. Well, what do you do? I'm going to pair that up with a magic missile, actually. Hack and slash. Hack and slash. Both of you shit. Shit. Okay. Tell us and roll your damage. Uh, s wait, wait. Someone aid me so that I can get a plus one here and do the thing. Someone aid me. You would need Could two I? aids. Oh yeah, yes. Yeah. So we'll, we uh, you just actually. finished playing your thrum. You'll have to aid Talison, and Morgan has to run up and aid Calgrest. Oof. Put me up there, coach. All right. Morgan runs up, taking out her daggers, stands next to, to Calgrest, and um, warrior bonds. Oh uh, no. Six is a fail, right? Six yeah, is six, a fail. Six is okay, a fail. Okay. Well, I just I can mark that as a fail, right? You mark that as a fail. I just attract unwanted attention then, but no. You do attract unwanted bonus. attention. Hey. All right, Morgan, you're barely able to help succeed, but uh, plus, just... plus two. I mean, it's yeah, okay. no, you're right. exactly it's five barely. Damage. Right, you're shooting, th uh, hit five damage, but this breaker, something seems to be protecting it. A veil of red magic stops the magic missiles. It still goes through. A few goes through. It shatters, but it envelops around his body again. All right, he does. He takes this five damage. All right. Oh, I'm gonna roll damage now. Yeah, roll damage, uh, and he's gonna hit you too. I deserve it. Okay. Roll your Merciless and roll a 3d4. Oh, God. I sort of got if you one-shot this dude again. <laughs> hey, hey. What hey, the fuck? Hey. 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 So that's, uh, how many Orc Generals have you, like, one-shot at this point? <laughs> I mean, okay, so describe what he does to me, because he hits me, for sure. All right, he does, he does hit you. Okay, so one second. He's going to do his, his roll. The best of this, it's going to be 14 damage reduced by armor. Oof, 10 damage, ow. Alright, so you run up to him, you're about to hit him, but he steps back, he faints, or you know, he does a faint, you're put out of position, he takes his axe, he smashes against your chest, it's sharp pain, oh, I wraps your body. Yeah. Oh, you I eat it, and, and move forward. Kill him. And you, you, know, you push, and your strength, um, you, his axe is being pushed back into him, and what do you do to kill him? Oh, I push the axe into his gut. Using you, you tackle his own axe into his. And then his I gut. punch, and then I punch him in the neck a lot. 
a lot and his head falls off and just oh, no. comes off to the side. I mean it's squish. It's it's it, it is indeed it makes wet. A wet. It, it is indeed very squish. But these two cultists they step back, their hands stick out. One second. I'm gonna something. shoot them. Before they do anything? Yeah, if they, do if they look like they're trying to do anything. The hands start to come out, their, their black magic seeping into these two elven bodies. Can they, I uh, do something no, as well? No, thank you. Yes, you, what do you guys can do? I'm gonna burn, I'm going to blot out the sun. And what do you want to do, Blotter? Uh, it goes to 11 on one of them. Alright, roll your charisma. Nice. Not... Nice. Alright, so this is what happens. This man, uh, his hand... Um, black magic starts to emanate from him, and as you start to cast a Ghost of Eleven, the one on the back um, takes out his own horn and starts to blow into it, but it is far too late as this man, his hand, instead of going into the elven body, goes into his friend instead, and the magic <laughs> seeps into his head, and his head, he, he, he drops the horn and he screeches in agony and pain. Morgan, go ahead and run your damage for Blood at the Sun. <sighs> That's all right. You're able to knock one of them out, but the other one was able to finish his ritual in time. As the elven, uh, unconscious elven body grins, turns and screeches and it becomes another werewolf. And it jumps straight for Morgan. Fight me. His hand reaches up and it starts to No, slip. it doesn't. Okay, what do you do, Calgrist? Come on. I'm out of with, uh, yeah, oh yes, oh yes, I understand. Right. So redirect half, and uh, yes. I'm gonna give him, give him the old sucker punch. All right, roll your merciless. Six. All right. Oh no, oh no, my minimum damage is more than what you rolled. No. Oh no. Oh, and, uh, no. <laughs> alright, so you redirected it to yourself and half it, yes? Yes. Take 8 damage reduced by your armor. So, half that and then... Reduced by your armor. How much damage do you take? None. None. Interesting, all right? So, the, wo um, uh, the werewolf is about to strike Morgan, but Morgan uh, instinctively takes a step back as Kalgris steps forward, his shield in the air in the front of its force. And uh, take ten, uh, uh, does six damage, and Harold comes in for a swing, eating you and dealing another four, oh, hi. Uh, four damage. Hey, buddy. Yeah, I just give him a, a kidney punch. And a kidney punch. And uh, Talison, what are you doing? I'm going to magic missile at one of these cultists, and we need to take these guys out immediately. Yeah, please kill the cultists. All okay. right. Hey! Shit, nice. And actually, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to attract them one of attention to double the spell, so I hit both of them. Alright, go ahead. Do I, do I need to roll the damage twice, or is that just once? Uh, just roll it once, and I'll Bam. just double it. Five damage to each, and it actually kills them. Barely. Nice. And as they fall all to the ground, this one werewolf starts to back off. Its eyes go from black to red, black to red. It's now black. It's holding its hand against its head right now. It doesn't know what's going on. Hey, what just tie do? it up. Just tie it up. I knock it out. I, Do you that? knock it out? Roll, roll your hack and slash, it's non lethal. Alright, well, you knock it out. I, uh, I, I, I assume you're gonna roll more than three damage. This sleep. Uh, yeah, you have to. Alright, and as that happens, um, Wesley is going to do his thing real quick. Oof. 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 Hey! Max damage. Nice. And with the aid of the archers, they're able to pacify this one over here. Uh, as, you, as you peer back, you notice his mirror, both his mirror images are dancing um, in one, amongst each other as, they, um, as the world doesn't... It looks like it's about to hit him, but it doesn't. And the mirror image pops in and out of existence. Um, I didn't think all these stupid cultists are dead, so yeah, that works. Alright! And as that happens, these familiar sounds peer through. Yeah, we're not done yet, though. Oh look, another one I'm gonna one shot. Alright. Uh yeah, it's true. Is uh, that a horde back there? That is a horde back that there, is yes. Totally a horde back so there. So I can use Sasha on them? You can indeed decide to use Sasha on them, but Baljik, from behind in the shadows of the trees, two arrows zip out. Oh damn it. More assassins. Assassins again. Man, really what a day for me to not have prepared Fireball. 
<laughs> oh my god. <laughs> what a t- <laughs> What a They day. leap from tree to tree on uh, on the things and their arrows peer out. Baldrick, what do you do? Arrows fly are flying at you. So do Sasha those count as a crowd as well? They do count as a crowd as well, but yes, but you still have, you still have to deal with arrows in the air right now. Oh, I, I'm gonna dodge the arrows. Alright. You're so good at that. What the fuck? Out of here. It is important that my hair stays perfect. I have become an expert at making sure my hair stays perfect in every situation. And you do a pirouette, and the arrows fly straight past. And, See, there's uh, a mistake. You keep trying to hit his hair. I know, seriously. Like, they should not go for fucking headshots anymore, apparently. And they come out, and uh, you can... That happens. The, the southern crowd pushes through, and... The door breaks in the north as well. Hey, Alex. Yes. Could I actually use the uh, remaining power in the staff to, like, maybe uh, channel a new spell uh, into my brain real fast? Since I've I basically have lost all of my spell memory except for Magic Missile right now. You'll have to sacrifice Magic Missile as well. Okay, but what no, would we'll I? How many? That. How many? What would I get? Just one other spell? Uh, one spell of your choice, yes. Okay, yeah, we're swapping it out for fireball then. All right, using the last bits of magic, uh, the, the the starlight seeps into your body, and for a second you see the coating of everything. You don't forget it, but it settles into your brain for a second as new spells come out. Something that you remember from your book. The magic from your book emanates into the staff and then into your brain. And you have fireball now. Actually, it's water ball because I got it from the spring. You're right, it is water ball. Is this it's high become... ground? That is indeed high ground. Uh, and I'm going to cast it. I'm going to climb you ca- up there. At, the, right. at the, first... the, the boys in front of us. But yeah, but Baldrick does okay. his thing first. Baldrick, what do you do first? Uh, I'm going to use Sasha on the... Well, Talison, are you going to be targeting those guys? The ones right next to us? Yeah, you and I are going to take these guys out. And we'll, okay. we'll leave Baldrick to the I'm going to use Sasha on them. Yeah. All right, roll your roll your, oof. Wow. roll mark or your not. Yikes. Mark the thing. All right, as you do that, uh, Baldrick, Sasha comes out, and you hear a horn in the distance. One second. Uh, do, 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 do. If you guys look to the east, <sighs> and there one, there seems to be one that looks different from the others. Oh, I see them now. Bojit, Sasha tries to play, but you notice the horn coming from this one gentleman over here. He blows it, blowing literally Sasha away into the winds as Sasha flows out. He'll come back in the future, but for now, Sasha is blown away. Okay, okay, I'm I Before, uh, yeah. I made my roll yeah. for fire for well. Yeah, I, I'm gonna so assume you, that I would assume it was fireball until it comes out as a ball of water. Yeah, so as it comes out as a water ball, yes. Uh, I'm gonna maximize it, by the way, and just hit the yeah. uh, all of the assassins near me. So yeah. that's twelve damage to all of them. All right, these ass- well, twelve is their health, and it bypasses <laughs> armor. Sploosh. <laughs> Fucking what did, sploosh. Did, did, oh my god! So like, what what happens here, Alex? All right, so um, Baldrick, you, you play your thing, and Sasha gets. Uh, blown away but parts of sasha cling to like little little embers of sasha like little like little bunch of little mini ghosts cling to talison like oh no don't blow me away like a dandelion and they wrap around talison's body and they enter his staff and the water seeps out you, th- you start to throw fireball like there's a spark but then halfway through it turns into a wave that crashes against them and you also crash away the entire building and uh, this family over here is just drenched they're safe but they're I, drenched. I, I i like smile sheepishly and wave apologetically. Sorry, well, you didn't maximize it. (laughs) I'm really glad that wasn't a fireball. Yeah, Yeah, me too. Alright, and they they are fucking deleted. Full of damage. Avoiding uh, collateral deaths was part of the reason for me thinking of that. (laughs) Yeah. Alright, so, with that, that happens. Morgan, you climb up. You see this elderly lady holding a spear, shaking. Um, at first, this elf over here says, Identify yourself as he knocks the arrow and points it at your chest. I'm here to help. Point that right. at them, not me. All right, and, it's, and it's, uh, he nods and he continues to flick arrows at this guy over here. Uh, 
and this old lady. Not wait, that wait, is the werewolf? It's knocked out. out. Yeah, the werewolf's knocked out. Oh, oh yeah, you're right. So I'm, let me just move on to the side, sorry. And he starts firing arrow at these hordes coming in. Um, Morgan, your eyes... No, no, your eyes meet this old lady, and then her face, so weathered. It's very rare to see an old, an old elf. That means that they've lived for a very long time. A very long time. Her spear, she looks at you. She looks at your tattoos. Her eyes, they widen. Child, come closer. Not the time. Morgan. Pausing for a moment is not really the time. Okay. Child, come closer. She stabs you with the spear. Ah! Hold on one second, guys. <laughs> oh, not that one. The spear enters your body, Morgan, and there's no pain. The spear itself. Erotic. What? <laughs> the spear. I mean. The spear itself turns to light. Your tattoo starts to glow, and the elderly lady, she smiles and she says, "Finally." The light enters. It twists around you. Everything goes black. Yeah, fucking taken over by an old lady, man. That's fucked up, man. <laughs> Morgan, you remember that one dream before where you're standing alone? There's a giant moon underneath you. And someone was was uh, trying to get me to come home. Yes. I don't even know you. where home is. Oh, it's back. It's above you, and it speaks to you, in in a bunch of voices, and it's a mesh, a sort of voice, and it finally settles on one. You recognize it. It's your uncle. And it says. Yeah. Hello, Morgana. Welcome home. You mean grandfather? Very, grandfather, yeah, sorry, grandfather. And uh, it's been a very long time, hasn't it? Just merely going to say yes. I've been looking for you for a very, very long time. Welcome home. And the light opens up and it shines upon you. Oof. The light enters and, hey, Morgan, the thing that I sent you earlier today? Mm -hmm. You have all four of those things for this encounter. Oh, just automatically? Automatically. Woo! Hey, can I cast spells again? Yeah, you can cast spells again. Fuck yeah, okay. The magic reverberates from the spear, shoots out as a shockwave. As um, the, as you, as uh, more, uh, Calgris, you noticed this one over here winces and like spits. And, like, and he says like an expletive. At least you think he says an expletive. Morgan, what weapon do you summon? Uh, we already have a bow, so let's let's make another bow. Right. <laughs> One bow? How about two bows? How about two bows? The tattoo on your left arm starts to shine brilliantly. Light appears as moon weaves it, uh, as moonlight weaves itself into a brilliant, bright white bow in your hands. It retains, and tell us, and you see this? It's like eminently brighting, bright Can't light really emanates. You couldn't miss it. And Morgan, her eyes are going pure white. White as the moon. And Baldrick, you see this too as, Morgan, what do you do with your newfound bow? So, I'll ask this later because th I want to know how this works with Blood Out yeah. the Sun. But, yes. there's a bunch of guys over here, right? Yes, you do. I'm going to shoot them. Yeah, make them right. dead. That'd be great. Right. Very dead. That'd be great. You shoot out your eyes, brilliant white. Uh, you shoot arrows, and um, while you have that one first ability, you have you technically have infinite arrows. You sure you want to give me that? Yeah, I'm, I'm giving you that. Because that's gonna be how many are over there? I guess. Well, I guess uh, I would say five then. Five out of five. Five out okay. of five. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> uh, as much as elven arrows. Uh, how about that? All right, as, as many as uh, Elven Arrows for yeah. so that's going to be just all four then. Yeah, all four, and what do you do? I'm also going to put myself into a position of danger. Well, does someone want to assist uh, Morgan real quick? I'll do it. Okay. Baldrick, you, you follow the tempo of Morgan, and you and you run up and you roll your bond with uh, Morgan? Hey, it works! That's enough to succeed. And Morgan... You run up, and you, you're jumping down, you're shooting arrows left and right. Um, the, these light arrows, they seem to conjure out of nothing from the bow, and Morgan, all she knows is her muscle memory just flings and flings and fires arrows, and they all take 8 plus irid and 9 damage. Uh, Alright, you actually managed to kill two of them on your assault. 
And uh, this one here will meet you. But we'll resolve that. Colgrist, Taliesin, Baldrick, what are you guys doing? Magic weapon. Magic weapon. When the magic reverberates, you notice Voss's connection to you is back. And hey, welcome back. I want to arcane arts, uh, this. Oh yeah, my arms explode. <laughs> Power. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to, uh, heal him as well as give him the 2d4. Yes. Or not. Oh no! Alright, so- um, Hold on. Experience. Hold on. Talison, can you aid Baldrick in that? Talison? Uh, I can try. I mean, I got all this magic shit. Hold on. I'll aid if Talson can aid. Oh, yeah, I definitely do. So, I mean, um... The, the residual starlight that yeah, you have, like, you pointed it into Baldrick. Yeah, give him the, the, the last juice of it. The last little bit of juice in Congress. Oh, no! Voss. I was gonna have Voss help out, so Voss still does that. Va Voss still helps out, and Voss like, oh, you know, it'd be funny if I didn't. Oh, <laughs> it doesn't man. help. Oh, it'd be funny if I just... And Voss is just sleeping right now, but, uh... Can Harold assist? Nice. No, Harold is uh, uh, fighting. He doesn't have any magical ability to assist, unfortunately. He doesn't have performance. He's just he's a pure red fighter through and through. And that's okay. Uh, that's two ones. So the next attack I'm gonna get is gonna be really good. Yeah, that's but, how it works, but, right? But what about ear? No, I'm kidding. All right, and, uh, Morgan is busy right now. I'm I'm busy. All right. So unfortunately, you aren't able to cast arcane arts on Calgris. Uh, unwanted attention to yourself, which these guys start charging over. Hey, I'm gonna tackle the. Which one do you guys actually want me to hold up? Um, hey, before I do that, can I uh, cast a spell? Yeah. Oh. Because these guys could use a bath. <laughs> uh, well, I attract unwanted attention to myself then. Yes. All right. Uh, and do I still have the penalty, actually? My you minus do have one. The penalty. Uh, yes, that's a six, penalty. actually. That's a six. Hey, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll aid. <laughs> well, you can't really aid right now because no, there's I'm, a dude right in front of you. No, I'm gonna have to take experience for this. I, I drink some water, okay. but not so much effect. I mean, no. Uh, Baldrick can't. Baldrick can aid you though. So no, unless I'll just you really want to, uh, I'll just take the experience. Actually, I kind of want it. Oof. Well, okay. I'll All take right. the. I'll take the orc then. He'll take the orc, and I guess the eight will take go the to Calgary. You can take this one hit. I'll, I'll, I'll get him next time. They're, they're gonna like all die whenever I do hit him. <laughs> sure. Come yeah, on, true. you can take one hit. Right. Come on, let your boy get another right. spell. <laughs> <laughs> Calgary, you come can on. go ahead and roll yeah. your dan uh, roll your hack uh, and slash. I'm gonna roll defense, actually. No, 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 no. You roll defense as this guy walks over. Oh Seven. no. Yeah, Baldrick, gets the aid. Baldrick, Baldrick gets the aid on the seven card. What's the one thing that you want? Yeah, I'm gonna half the damage from that. All right. I'm gonna hold the line until Talison has some goddamn spell right. Interesting. I'm not really accustomed that this is not how this is supposed take to work. Take eleven damage. Reduced by armor. Halved, and then reduced by armor, so I take one. Nice. All right, and these guys crash into you, as well as the north. The elves are overrun. Uh oh. Oh, well, they kind of suck. All right, Morgan, what do you do? There's this man in front of you, and he speaks perfect common. Give me back the spear, you filthy elf. Oh, it's a man. Oh, Fuck that guy. Oh, this is the no, wrong. No, it's not a man. It's a orc. It's type okay. definitely an orc. Oh, okay. So He's speaking Manish though. Anyway. He's speaking Manish. Oh my God. <laughs> That's the name of common, right? Is he? And was he trying to attack me? Yeah, he does try to attack you. He takes out a sword. Um, it's a curved blade that's uh, about the size of his torso and goes for a cut. Ooh, boy. What do you do? Pause it. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, right. what action actually is that if I want to access uh, You can use your dex to defy danger to, to, to parry it. Yeah. With your bow. But wait a second. Wait a second. What do you do? Wait a second. I can make a... Uh, like... I can make something else. And the bow enters um, Morgan's arm and reforms itself into what he wanted to be. Uh, can I make two? <laughs> I don't... 
You can, you want to see? Can I make us? Can I make two things? A sword and a parrying. Dagger? Yeah, you can make a sword and parrying dagger. It, it okay. still fundamentally acts as one weapon, but that's what you do, right? So a um the blade comes out from your training with Calgris how to use a sword, and the parrying dagger comes out because you use a dagger. You blo uh, go ahead and roll your deck. See what happens. Oh. See what you don't know is that Calgris wasn't always a punchy boy. He wasn't always a punchy boy. Oh no, but that is a fail. That is a fail. This is what happens. All right. Um, the man, uh, not the man, the orc, um, he goes for a slash, but then he faints. He steps back, and as you try to parry him, your whole ribcage is ex uh, exposed. He slashes against the ribcage first, so he, he, he heals his damage. This is a uh, pierce of two, so you take eight damage, pierce of two. What's your armor? One. So you, you take the whole eight damage. He take, take all eight. He take all eight damage, and then he takes out his hand and grabs well your chest, but not really your boobs, but your chest. And the magic from the bow starts to emanate, and, and it gets sucked into his hand. As you feel very weak right now, and you're caught in his grasp. Son of a bitch. And you Son feel your bitch. life's essence pouring into this orc right now. I still have a regular dagger. You still have a regular dagger, yes. Idiot. <laughs> it is. It is. Thanks, I forgot bud. about my weapons. All right, do you want to? <laughs> that I have real weapons. Yeah. Yeah. You take out. You, so thinking quickly, you drop and you pull out your dagger and roll your hack and slash. Oh my god! <laughs> you just roll. <laughs> Jesus! Roll your damage. <laughs> you don't know, you, you, Classic. A, classic, 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 classic. 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 comes in and swoop off and he backs off a little bit. The the magic that was in his hands seeps back into your Morgan, but you're gonna have to resummon your shit. Um And he takes two damage. Well, he takes no damage. So uh he steps back a little bit and he hits him, he, he curses and he takes a look at his comrades and uh Calgrist, Baldrick can tell us what are you doing right now. Can I uh command the archers? Yes, you can. Okay, then I guess I'll do that. Alright, what do you do? See, I gain one hold, uh... No. What do you do? Actually, hold on, I can up? aid- I can aid with that. Yeah, no! Um, Tell us and you start shouting out orders too, because you are helping Baldrick study. Also, I speak Elvish. <laughs> yes, you're right! <laughs> so, like, I can help bond. translate here. Um, uh, my bond is they two can with everyone, by the way, so... so big deal. Yeah, uh, but, I mean, hearing it in Elvish might... Yeah, I mean, hearing it in Elvish, yeah. Maybe it helps. Holy I shit, do. the bond works! It helps a lot. Alright, Baldrick, you get three hold, what do you do? Uh, the group remains unharmed, they're effective, and... Yes. They do not take long to do what we ask them to do. All right. So the two archers, they they understand the the situation as you guys crash into town. They take their bows and arrows. They come out and they start firing. Um, which one? Which group do you want? Do you want them to push back the orcs, or do you want them to push back the breaker, the orc breaker? All right. Uh, one second. They are trains for two, seven damage. They push back the orc horde a little bit, giving you room to breathe, and Harold pushes forward to the hail of arrows as these two archers fire and fire. Um, oh, wait, no, let me just start to clean up the map a little Whoop. bit. Bye. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> no, not, not, not the horde. They're not okay. dead. They're not dead. Just yeah. gonna clean up the map just a bit. All right, so, Calgrest, what do you do? All right, well, Harold, aid me. All right, Harold aids you. Um, let's, well, flank, let's flank this guy. All right. Um, I want Harold to do, give me a forward, and I then I want to, um, I'm going to hack and slash this is a piece of garbage apart. Alright, uh, you don't get plus one forward, he just adds his four damage to whatever you roll. Well, that's also fine. Yes, so roll your hack and slash. Oh. Alright, hey. and roll your damage. Hey. Hey. Oh my fucking god! Oh, hey. baby. Now, come on, Max the Merciless. Good enough. Well, the max the voice plus four. <laughs> or, hey, that's um, why I take damage. Gotta heck him up. Do you want to take damage? So you can get the last another D4? To, uh, to kill him. It's, it's actually not a D4, it's a uh hold on. It's uh, actually it's way more than that. It's actually way more than that, Alex. Maybe maybe if you've read the rules, you know that. 
<laughs> it's, it's a uh, d6. It's a, a d6. d6. Yeah, roll a d6. Because he's at one health right now. I think you're going to kill him. I mean, yeah. I, I hope I can't roll lower than a 1 on a d6. <laughs> but yeah, I'll take the hit. That's fine. I'm totally cool with that. Alright, I'm going to I'm gonna rush up here into this yeah. Yeah. area. Yeah, so yeah. I'll let him... I'll let him bury his axe in my uh, in my shoulder there. Yeah. For six damage, it looks like. And then and Harold a, behind him takes damage. his sword while he's free and like stabs it to his ankle to pin him. And he literally hamstrings him and he falls down to one knee. And what do you do, Calgress, to kill him? Oh man, he's got that. He's got his hand on that axe in my arm. Yep. Well, I'm gonna take that arm and I'm gonna suplex him behind me and just crush his little noggin into the ground. Uh, as a result, you knock a few support pillars from the from the center town, but hey, that's fine. Hey, it's dead. What do you it's want? Dead. It's dead. Uh, all right, tell us what do you do. Uh, I'm gonna... let's see if I can do this spell again. Hey, I'm bleeding, guys. Uh, can anybody give me a little hand? Baldrick, do you help? Do you run up and roll your bond? Uh, looks like Baldrick does. You run up, and you get a little bit of a hand from Baldrick, Talison. Okay, if, if you're talking, I can't hear you. Yeah, Rick, you're just right. in case Discord is. Oh, angry. I didn't say anything. I okay, I just I just didn't know if Discord was doing the thing. You know, just making yeah. sure. All right, roll your roll your spell, my dude. Do you draw one attention to yourself to maximize the damage? Uh, yeah. So can I just hit all three without doubling it and just maximize the damage that way? Yeah, you can hit all three. Okay. In that area. Uh, yeah, yeah. So they they all actually take... wait. No, I think Fireball it hits only one group. And no, it hits it hits everything in the area. <laughs> oh, okay. So, right. like, you basically define the area. Now, if you say, like, each of these groups is big enough to be an area unto itself, like, that's a, that's a call no, that you can uh, make. No, they're still, they're still being held back by Wesley and, uh, uh, by... They're bunched up together. Like, that's, yeah. that's valid. So, like, you can have armies where it's, like, so you can't just fireball a whole fucking... It's uh, your target and everyone nearby. So, like, I would pick one and, I mean, yeah. that's, that's, it's sort of up to you what, what gets hit. So, what yeah. ends up happening is, instead of throwing it out of your spear... A, a literal typhoon, uh, not typhoon, um, brutal water spout appears from underneath them, and they all get sucked up. Well, how much damage is it? It's 12 damage. It's 12 damage. Well, these guys get flung up into the air, into this water spout, and thrown off to God knows where. So oh, they're just drown. dead. Bye! <laughs> Bye! Bye! Have a wonderful time! Oh, I'm, I am a great and terrible wizard. <laughs> And you do that, and the or only the orc breaker is left. And uh, this Fucking gentleman barely. over here, now noticing his position, cusses and starts to retreat. No, he doesn't hold. Oh, no, you don't. Heck. Do you hold, hold person on him? Hold person. All right, go ahead. It, it, go it, ahead, it, it, go it, ahead. It. One second. You, uh, roll, roll. One second. I lose the spell. Do you lose the spell? Sure. Give me a moment here. Hmm. Cold person's exactly like Cage, basically. It's oh, just no. yeah, just they don't they don't get a chance. It's really good to use against players though. All right, because they don't get no, a chance. Great. <laughs> I know they don't get a chance, but what happens is this gentleman over yeah. here, the red veil that once shielded him, grabs into his hand, and it counters your spell. Poop. Yeah, spell countering is a thing. Abs uh, absolutely yeah. is a thing. And Can I your... cast it goes to eleven on it. You could go ahead and roll your charisma. It's just she's everything that we got. <laughs> Get back here! All right, it goes to eleven. He Does starts he to lose focus and drowsy. He he runs to and he, he tries to and, and doesn't kill his friend. I wonder does he kill his friend? Indeed, he kills his friend. He slowed down a little bit. You guys can still chase him. Morgan's right One there. Second. Can I tackle him? You can try to tackle him. That is a that's a strength check, dude. If you can want to try and tackle him to that, the uh, well, we'll is see. That if a you strength? Need it. What's a trip then? Is it that, trip well, dexterity? I mean, he technically is helpless if you're able to take out your bow in time and shoot it. But he's starting to go into the forest. So I'm going to give you a minus one to this because he he he's thick into the forest right now. You slow down. You because of Baldrick, you're able to take a shot against him. You're not able to hold him. Uh, Voss is kind of thrown back a little bit. Uh, shoot but, him! Oh my fucking god! <laughs> Bless. Uh, right into his head. Bless. Uh, wait, no, don't him. kill. Bad Morgan. Why would you kill him? Morgan, that's up to that's I... up to Morgan. That's up to Morgan. Uh, well, that you're right. That goes into his leg then. All right. right. The Roll the damage. 
Perfect. Perfect. Just Perfect. To, for, he's not dead. It goes with his like he stops and he and he snarls and uh what what do the rest of you guys do? Well I'm busy. Yeah, you're busy dealing with these orcs over here. I mean he's I'm gonna cast right there. I mean yeah, I mean Mor Morgan and Baldrick, I mean, go take care of that. Go go get that guy. Yeah, I'm gonna be chasing him. <laughs> right, I'm going to him. um cast another spell though. Alright, what do you do? I'm gonna try to you know, clear out one of these orcs, I guess. Yeah. So let's spell cast. I mean, I'm, over, I'm over here, so they're much less dangerous. Honestly, over here. that's another failure, and I guess I just take it. Right, you forget the spell. Well, do I? The, the is that a thing? Like, oh, that's right. You can just add in. Stuff yeah, I, I decide. Yeah. You take that, yeah. and and the staff, like, just like com completely out. Your mind is completely out. You just you it just just fall to your knees, and you cough up blood because you pushed yourself so much for the last <laughs> okay. little bit of all this fucking spell casting. Okay, I'm out. Right. Why are people coughing up blood? Yeah, and I, uh, I might have accidentally converted part of my lung. I'm not hundred <laughs> percent sure. Not sure. <laughs> all right, Bulger, what are you doing? Morgan's chasing off the, this one dude. That's the danger of transmutation. Um, would I be able to? Sh oh wait, I gave all my arrows to Morgan. I forgot that. Yes. Did you? I thought I, I bought my own arrows. I gave you no. a bundle of arrows. I. One of the big fights. Yeah, it was the other big oh, fight. Oh, you did. Alright, so w w what are some of the things you can do, Baldrick? Could I order the archers to fire yeah. on it? You order yeah. not those archers, but all the remaining archers. You shout as loud as you can. Sasha comes back and uh, megaphones your voice. Oh, and, oh boy. Wow. Oh, wow. Wait, if, is Sasha back? Yeah, Sasha is back, yes. Do you decide um, to do something? Just I, came I can distract the guy, can't I, with I Sasha? I mean, you already rolled for this, though, so I think you're committed. Yeah. Alright, so what are the three things you want the archers to do? Uh, they're gonna be effective, and they're not gonna take a long yeah. time. Uh-huh. And they're gonna give plus one forward to an ally, which I'll right. give to Morgan. Some of the archers run out of arrows, but the, the remainder of these archers actually finally killed the dude. Not even in danger from damage, because he's just dead. Yeah. He's just dead. Alright, and uh, Congress, I'm just gonna assume you fucking killed these guys. <laughs> I mean, let's say Let him roll. Well, okay, you can roll. Morgan. You can roll your hack and slash. Go Wait, ahead. Like, I'll let you roll. I don't think the rolls need your attention, because I'm sure they're dead, but like we can, <laughs> we can yeah. move on to Morgan. I'll take <laughs> some damage. It's okay. You take some damage, so what I'm gonna do... Uh, oh, wait a minute. Whoa. They have three... Wow, that's a, that's a low roll. You take... Wait. Wait. <laughs> Wait. They're fucking There's dead. They had, they, had, they had three health left. They, their whole horde had three health left. They're dead. Damn dead. Alright. <laughs> and Morgan, Turn the whole you run the into the oh. forest. Do I take five damage? You, you yeah. do take. Reduced. You take. No, no, no. Four. Reduced by your armor. One, one damage. Yeah, so yeah. You take one damage. And right, Morgan, you chase this guy thick into the forest right oh. now. Wait, four? Because it's the highest of those two? Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, I rolled two ones. Yeah, but he, it's four base, then reduce my armor. So no, yeah, no damage, I think. Okay. So four base, reduce my armor. Whatever the damage is, you're going to be fine. And Morgan, you chase this dude. He's hobbling. You follow the blood. You take out your daggers. And what do you do? He's there, but his hand is sticking out, and a black portal is appearing before him with black hands coming out and gripping his body. Stab his arm? Where the hell is Baldrick? Yeah. I told him to go help. Baldrick was uh, commanding the archers. Oh, yeah. I mean, Morgan has a plus one to against it well let's let's hope it goes forward then yeah morgan what happens there are a bunch of black hands coming through what are you trying to do what are you trying to do what's uh like what about these black hands these black hands are like coming up and gripping his hands and they're pulling him into the portal oh cut off his hands no yeah like yeah cut the hands those, those are directed at his hands all right so roll your damage <clears throat> All right, you cut off his hand. You actually cut off his heart and hand. Wait, and his hand or the, or the other hands? I thought either one works. I, I, I okay. I just which one is working? Okay. doing? All right, let's. let's he's he's let's using roll. his hands one to cast two. spells. All right, well, uh, his left hand. Uh, one is his left hand. Two is his right hand. You cut off his left hand. You cut off his Bye, left, left hand. hand. And, and he rears in pain, and the spell starts to collapse. And he tries to grab onto you and jump into the portal with you, grappling you. What do you do? <laughs> Alex is going to make you make a strength check. You're not getting away with not making a strength check. 
<laughs> and here it is. Ha. <sighs> or constitution, maybe, but I don't think it's any better. I mean, I can, make a I can make your constitution it's much strength. easier. He's trying to grapple you right now. That's some strength, my dude. That is strength. I don't have anything else I can do. Unless I can we uh, unless he'll allow me to weave out of the way. You can weave out of the way, but you're gonna lose him. Can I use my uh You're making the strength check, goddammit. We're coming. Can I use the <laughs> it goes to eleven on him to like temporarily distract him? Yeah, you can, can temporarily distract him, yeah. You no. can you can roll your charisma and see what happens. No. Oh you, you do you do temporarily distract him. Morgan, what do you do? What are you trying to do right now? He's temporarily hazy, he still wants to hit you. Oh, you gotta grab him. Oh, 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 oh. God damn it, can I like um You're way uh, too far right now. Boss. Yeah. Hold on, hold on, wait, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Hey boss. You want you want boss to help? Yes. Hey, right. hey, what yeah, if what, what if what if um so the information that I gave distracted. Well, yeah, okay. he's temporarily distracted, but something else is gonna happen instead. Okay. But the, I wanna see what Talon's sending Congress do first. Well I've got your safety net. Don't worry, boss has been waiting to get his hands on you, it's okay. Well, Morgan, you should find some way to make your uh, your glowy uh, things useful here. Uh, because remember when we talked uh, and you asked me for advice here, if you can put that to use, you can get a plus one. Yeah, you can craft Which a weapon. Which will get you we'll out of the Morgan. And then I can, well, I don't, I don't have any way of aiding you. That's the only way I can aid you. I can give you a plus one without yeah. rolling. If you can come up with it with a way that what I told you is helping you here. So what do you do, Morgan? And also I get experience when you do it. So please yeah. try. <laughs> so please come up with something. I mean, if he's just, uh, I mean, he's just trying to grab me, right? Yes. What if I shield swipe him? What yeah, if, like well, I mean, what if maybe because he's porting out of, like, this place that you are very clearly, like, bodily tied to, and that's what those those things signify, maybe they can stop you from being ported away from here if you don't want or to be. I... What do you, what do, you do? Can I create something to, uh, can I make something that keeps me here? Can yep. I, like... You can, can I make uh, a lasso onto? Can I lasso onto? Yeah, you can lasso a, onto a tree. A tree, you can, you can or have a tree onto lasso onto you? Huh? Yeah, <laughs> have a tree lasso onto you. Yeah, sure, why not? I roll your con, dude. A little tree like just grabs it with your little with branch hands, like no. Oh no! Wait, hold on. No, 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 no. This is the plus one to her strength roll. What do you? Yeah, it's a plus. Uh, I, 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 we're getting a plus one oh. to the roll she's already made. What are you? What are you oh, doing the second roll? Okay, all right. So that's say like, you don't get. I'm trying for to the, make her strength roll. roll not fail. Never mind. All right. I mean, I already did that, but that's fine. Yeah, you're old a seven. That's a seven. That's a that's. But a partial I also success. want experience. That's a partial success. <laughs> More importantly, exp though. Yeah. So with the partial success, so we make the strength the an plus eight. Plus one, the the, the the made the strength an eight so far, and Voss decides to go help. So that's a nine. Okay. Ooh, well, I wonder. Can Baldrick oh, do any help? We're we'll, we'll, we'll Congress. See what you roll. First. Um, did he already roll? did, didn't he? Oh, it's eight. Yeah. All right. All right. So because he was um, affected by the, it goes to eleven. I'm gonna give you I'm give Morgan one more plus one because of that. And he is pulled into the portal, and he's still gripping onto you, Morgan. Uh, but you're like you're lassoing against the tree, and uh, what ends up happening is that his other right hand gets cut off as he gets sucked <laughs> into the portal. He has no more hands. He has no more hands. He has no more hands. That's fucked up, dude. <laughs> That's not what we wanted to happen. Well, he still deserves it. Whatever, I don't care. I guess. He has, he has no hands. <laughs> Alright. And with that... Battle is done. You saved Silverleaf. Congratulations. Oh, okay, I'm bleeding, guys. So I'm yes. gonna go over here. <laughs> I'll heal Calgrest. Yes, but you can do that. Next session. This is the end. I need to transmute back the rest of my lung. <laughs> yeah. Oh shit. My lung. Yeah. I mean, I don't know what's wrong with you guys. I feel great. <laughs> I mean, I mean, this is the this is the oh yeah, this is why it's dangerous part of doing what I'm doing here because I mean, you're drawing out a lot of mana. Oops, you drawed out a wrong part of your own mana, idiot. Nice organs. <laughs> Oof.
<laughs> you need the spleen? I no, I, I guess I hope you. Loser. I hope you didn't, moron, because now it's made of water and it's fucking everywhere. <laughs> All right, let's go through end of session stuff, please. All right. Uh, fucking. I keep missing. I should have. I, I say this every time. Maybe we should have a sticky over there. Maybe we should have a sticky over there. Mm. Maybe you should. Maybe you should. God fucking damn it, guys. All right. All right. End of session. Did we learn something new and important about the world? Yes. I feel like there's a lot of like that stuff going on. Did we overcome a notable monster or enemy? Yes, you did in a way. Yay. Uh, did, yeah. did, did you loot memorable treasure? I mean, Morgan got stabbed by a spear, I guess that Kind of, so yeah. Does that count for all of us? Yes, it counts for all of you. Yeah, because that's the group thing. That's the group. So you guys get three experience from end of session. Congratulations. I've done it. Alright, anyone uh, resolve any bonds? I did learn something from Talison. <laughs> it's true! It's true! You can I got them. Alright, and uh, does anyone have, did anyone fulfill their alignment? Yep. I definitely did that. Several times. <laughs> Pretty but you only sure. Have one I, experience. Pretty sure I, I injured myself. Yeah. So, uh, Baldrick, do you think so? Not really this time. Uh, I didn't avoid a conflict or defuse to the situation. No. Though. Okay, not this time. All right. So, with that, the, everyone gets the experience that they get. Does anyone level up? Oh my no, god, yeah, quite. my dude. Yeah, I'm my not dude, quite I do. level seven. It's level six time, and you know what that means. Now my merciless is a D eight. Oh wait, you, you finally caught up me in levels, and now I'm one experience away from being seven. <laughs> do you want us to level now, or wait? Uh, can we do that now, real quick? So remember, all the people yeah, who I mean, level, please yeah. put a stat point somewhere so you don't forget. <laughs> Did everyone put in their stat point? Yes. All right. Now, just That's know it. you have to get an extra move. You don't have to set, decide that now. You can look through the rules. But the stat point is always the one that people forget. Yeah. Oh, hey, wait. There also, Morgan, you leveled? Mm-hmm. Uh, God emits the waste levels with you as well. Sweet. So I get another spell? More spells. Um, you're, what level are you with it? Uh, it that'd be, this, would, this would be level two. So then. you get, yeah, you get, um, you should have three level one spells. Cool. All right. Interesting. Good job, guys. Hope you guys had fun. I'll see you.